Oh shit, what's good? We're back from PAX. What this is episode thirteen, right? What did I put on 14. the what did I put on the post from Discord? I swear I, I put fourteen. Did I put fourteen? Alright, here, let me double yeah. check. Cause it, it should be right there. Yeah, uh, you said fourteen. Okay, we're on you number said, uh, you said fourteen. We're on number fourteen. Oh, it feels like uh, forever since we've done this, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's we're been here. Forever since I've done this. I haven't been on since First, first I know one. it's been forever first since one. Pinstripe's done it. <laughs> I haven't oh, done you, this since but he, but he's, he's doing like ten podcasts. Like it's okay. He's he's here now. He's here now. Uh, before I before got my we homework done. Before we start, what what is everyone? Involved? Actually, we don't even need to know what Keeler's been playing. We know Destiny Two. <laughs> yeah, man, you're right. You're right. I've been playing Destiny Two. I've been. Playing a lot. I've been playing Yakuza Kiwami on the on my breaks though. Okay. That game that game's really fun. Uh, but it's mainly just been Destiny 2. I finished the raid. Yo, you got to tell uh, people about that fun. raid, man. So How great right, it so is. Right. <laughs> the raid is interesting, right? I think it's okay. After I've been thinking about it for a while, after mm-hmm. I finished it, I think it's okay. I just think that they need to fix some of the bugs on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's really what just destroyed my experience with it but yeah i think just uh, the rate is okay just i would recommend if people were doing it for the first time probably do it at a higher power level at like 300 or 290 maybe because at 280 and 270 is awful takes just awful sweet time to enjoy that uh what's it called the pleasured garden (laughs) (laughs) yeah dude the pleasure garden is um is an uh, interesting thing i won't go into detail here but it's basically like the gorgon maze from destiny one if any listen to this know what that is from destiny one it's basically that but you gotta kill the the uh thing that's like the gorgons in destiny 2 it's a raid all right okay <laughs> it's basically the same thing but you have to kill the thing instead of uh just hide from it oh shit Destiny 2 boys. <laughs> Jake, have you been playing Destiny 2? Oh fuck no! <laughs> but, uh, since the last podcast, I beat Sly 1. I'm Why playing Sonic time? Adventure. Katie's You're barely me- playing Sonic Adventure. Katie's making me get Persona oh, 3 this week. This this man still hasn't beat. Oh yeah, you, you need you need no he yes, beat he I beat Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, Jake, I, I Jake, you need to Persona you need to one. stream Persona three. Okay. We need to see that. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh, no, that's gonna be interesting oh, to man. watch. I will watch all of that. Yeah. That's gonna be so funny. <laughs> that's gonna be really interesting to see. Because we'll all just be like, no, Jake, don't do it. But then he does it anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just screwed. Yeah, I'm gonna good. play on the hardest difficulty instead of normal. No, Jake, don't, don't do, do it. it. Do it, yes. Yeah, no. Rip. Rip. Yeah, I'm gonna get Destiny 2 on PC in the future. What I've been doing right now, I just finished. Uh, I got the last achievement for Jet Set Radio, the one where you have to beat the game without anybody <laughs> latching on you. That shit took forever. Oh my god. <laughs> And fuck that. And I'm working on Sonic Generations right now just to see if I can beat it faster than Jake. Or at least get all the achievements faster than Jake. Actually, Jake doesn't even have the... What's that achievement, Jake? The one where you have to beat the the Time Eater without getting hit? Even though you're invincible as Super Sonic, if Time Eater so much as touches you or hits your hitbox, you have to try again and that's the achievement. You can't... Time Eater can't hit your basically your hitbox. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get that one since Jake doesn't have that it. That one I feel is the hardest one in the game, in my opinion. It's so fucking hard. And then when I'm saying that because he doesn't have it yet. And then when I'm done with that, uh, I'm gonna be trying to get the all the uh, trophies for uh, Persona 4 Golden. Wait, if you watched the wait, vlog, you know, I said I was gonna do that. You know what? how many times I have beaten that game, Katie? Which one? Sonic Generations. What, like five, six times? Like more like ten. Uh, more like ten. More right. like ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of Sonic Generations, uh, since you wanted to know what you're being brought up on charges for, uh, it is related to that game. <laughs> oh man, I have no idea what this is. Oh, uh, isn't it that one level? 
Uh, hold, hold up, we'll, we'll get I into it. But uh, we'll get into we'll it. Yeah, is. we'll get into it before we actually start talking about oh, topics. No, 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 you posted on Snapchat. I didn't post it on Snapchat. The four minutes casual gamer shit. That wasn't on Snapchat. Where was it? I commented on the video. Okay. Okay. Well, that, fine. We'll it? fine. We'll get to it right now. So Jake was on Planet Wisp. The the classic Sonic act, and he said four Rupa. minutes in a level in Sonic is too long. And what? then it, w- when he finished the level, what in what six and a half minutes, he was complaining that it was way too long. For a Sonic game, were you meant to go fast? I'm, yes. I'm like, I'm like, have you played a Sonic game? Like, like this is how you know he's barely played sonic adventure because there's levels in sonic adventure oh yeah and sonic adventure 2 that are way longer than four minutes yeah knuckles yeah yeah the knuckles <laughs> like depending on the, how your rng is with the knuckle levels in adventure yeah. 2 like you're kind of screwed it like you're sonic gonna get like i hate the space the levels this took me forever to get for a level or two like, but we cannot forget Big the Cat. Oh no. Oh, I don't know, like, I was able to get used to big stuff, like, pretty quick. Like, it's still d- dumb, but, like, it was something. I'm just glad it was hey. the, the shortest Yo, uh, one. Yo, Katie. What? What's worse, Big the Cat's fishing or Final Fantasy fishing edition? How am I supposed to know if I haven't even tried it? I'm gonna because... tell you right now because I've played the fishing of Final Fantasy 15. You did? Uh, yeah, I did the fishing a lot because it's for a trophy to level up your fishing skill. Yeah. I I never got the trophy because I just gave up because of how boring it was. But I'd rather I'd rather do Bigs the cat fishing. After trying yeah. to catch the Guardian in Persona 5, I don't want to play a fishing game ever <laughs> again. I had to use my I had to use my fight stick for that shit. Turn on turbo I mode. That. Still haven't gotten that shit. Dude. I had to turn on turbo mode. <laughs> yeah, you were you trying to do that shit? Uno with me, Katie. You were like, what? man, this nigga cheat. I'm getting my fight stick. You were cheating. You were cheating in Uno. This nigga got salty because I called Uno before he did. Nah, man, he was cheating but uh yeah um so everybody that's not jake right that's here right now is the jury is is jake innocent or guilty guilty i mean like so the charges were again it was he thinks six minutes is too long for a sonic no, four, level. four minutes he said four, four minutes, minutes is too long for a sonic level Four minutes and he two. calls himself a huge Sonic fan. Hasn't even played Adventure or Adventure Two. <laughs> Has he even played, played the played classic Shadow? Sonic games? Did you yeah, play Sonic? Yeah. You played one through three. I uh, not three. You haven't one, played two, Sonic and Knuckles. Did you play Sonic yeah. CD? Uh, a little bit. I never beat Sonic CD because it was the reason I never beat it is because I got it for free. Uh, not via console. Did you beat oh. Sonic T? You just emulated it. No. Did you beat Sonic it. Teaches Typing though? <laughs> what is Sonic Teaches Typing? It doesn't exist. Anyways, Mario Teaches Typing does. So though. yeah. Did you beat Sonic R? Nigga, I, what the hell? Yo, is Sonic did I tell R? you? Did I tell you I have that game on disc? Dude, I do too, man. Oh my that's on my, that's I, I beat Sonic N. I used to play that on my aunt's old crappy laptop. <laughs> no, dude, I played that game. So many Jake, times. Katie. What? No, no, no. Jake, hold up, hold up. You probably claim that you've beaten Sonic X before. I said Sonic N. What is Sonic what? N? Yes, well, remember that does... micro handheld, Katie? Is the that what? for the N gauge? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wasn't that Sonic God. Advance? Yeah, it was oh, so my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, no, we like, started like, advanced, guys. To get back to, get back to my to, to 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 the verdict, I uh, yeah, yes, Jake's guilty. Think, yes, yeah. All right, pin straight. And I'm gonna press charges on everyone in here for not uploading. No, I have a video. It's coming. I yeah. have to just wait till whenever they <laughs> upload it. I met Katie. I met like on their own channels. Oh, I don't do my own channel anymore. I <laughs> All right, what about you, Katie? What happened? Pin straight. Why you not uploading? I already explained it. I can't. Oh, you... I can't record with my brother in my room because any hey. tiny noise he makes 
we'll get no we'll get into the mic because it's <laughs> sensitive as shit. Alright, sorry for you getting another mic then. What do you mean? I already told you I bought a snowball a few days ago. It's time for you. Like to get I would on. like I would take my Yeti off the arm, but like putting it back together is annoying, so I just bought another mic. <laughs> You should have just gotten. You should just do some audio editing. Get your you ass on Adobe Audition. No, you can't. It's too hard to get voices out. Man, have you? Man. You don't even know how to audio edit. <laughs> I can get. I can get oh, like. I fired. can get like everything out except for voices. But you know what? If if we're gonna be talk about editing, you're being put on charges again because you don't know how to oh. fucking edit videos. And you wanna you wanna keep telling me to use Premiere? This nigga, this nigga thinks Sony Vegas is like way better than Adobe well, Premiere. It, it's not this anymore. You know how to work it. Premiere, like, to the other program. Do some real editing. Well, it's not anymore because 15 came out and it's trash. But like, yeah. But you can't edit videos for shit. All you do is throw the shit in Premiere and render it. Wait, Pro name? 15 came out and it's it's garbage. Yeah, I told you yeah, this already. It's garbage. But it's then again, good. it's not even Sony's anymore. Like some other, they sold it off. It's just yeah, it's just Vegas now. It's not yeah. Sony Vegas. It's oh, is that trash. why you're getting Creative Cloud, Katie? I might, but I'll probably stick with 14. But yeah, I'll probably get Creative Cloud a little bit I later. Stick with, I've been using Vegas Pro 13 for like yeah, everything. Dude. I do. I don't. When I got off Vegas Pro, it was because I was using Vegas Pro 12, and I swear, dude, it would crash like every fucking time I opened Vegas 12. That's because you didn't yeah. give it enough RAM. No, I edited the whole podcast on one gig of RAM, or not the podcast, <laughs> on the whole vlog on one gig of RAM, and every time I opened Vegas, it was acting like it was ready to just fall apart. <laughs> I was like, all right, let me let me give it like 12 gigs of RAM and <laughs> fix this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. I, for- I forgot to give it more RAM. I was so focused on the editing, I didn't keep it in mind. But... Mm. Yeah, for you gonna, yeah, Jake, learn how to edit videos, please. I am a more pro editor than you. No, you're not. Speaking of editing videos, I, 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 I to flex my editing muscles, uh-huh. I made a few videos for Pinstripe, but that never saw the light of day. Really? So Pinstripe got to see. I can like, upload them. Yeah, he can upload, but yeah, he has a few of my videos I made. I think I edited one of his. Or, no, I think I just made some. Let me see. But no, I edited stuff. And I think it was pretty good editing. They were. They were good. I haven't done it in a while since. I haven't done it for like a few months. And then I did that one video for him. I think it was, was it the Paragon video or is it the one before that? Well, there was a Paragon video. I think it was... Was it was I playing Letter Quest or was that you? I think that was I think that was me. Yeah, yeah, it was me because you started playing yeah, it after it was, I made it. It was you the video. playing Letter Quest because I, I just pulled it yeah. up. It was you. Yeah. Yeah, and I made these weird videos for Pinstripe that never saw the light of day because it was supposed to be a joke that uh, I was I was the Paragon in the Pinstripe Paragon, and yeah. I played Paragon. The video, the MOBA video game, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey guys, it's Paragon." Hey, speaking uh, of which, you know what, Keeler? Yeah. You and me, let's play Paragon, boy. Let's play Paragon. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if, like on PS4, maybe I'll do like one match. That's it. I don't like. I don't like the game that much. Oh, really? But yeah, because it's a MOBA. I don't oh really yeah, like yeah. MOBAs. Uh, I can't. Doesn't sit well with me, like at all. That's un- oh, that's I have an announcement to make about for myself. What? Oh, snap. I've taken the Paragon out of my name. No, I have now just Pinstripe. You're lying. I need, gonna... I need to make new channel art to go with it, but we're getting there. Is, is, <laughs> is, 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 wait, are you just trying to copy freaking King Bombbeard? I saw that garbage. What? Is I did that. What, no, no, what no, are no, all these I did people? it first. My I did no. it first. Get out of here. No, you did. I did, though. <laughs> I saw I him. He was like, copying, uh, like at first my, when I saw his video, I was like, "Is this dude really about to close down his channel?" I'm surprised my video or his videos still show up on my feed. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I watched the whole video. He was like, oh, yeah. But yeah. then again, you could just look at his name. And I was like, okay, he's just Hugo plays games now. Yeah, no. It, it's just, I took out the Paragon. That's all. I'm still pinstriping. Did, did you get the Twitter handle? What, what, what made you want No! Hold no. on, let me let me try it again. Because that, that account's fucking dead and it's pissing me off. What, what made you want to do this out of curiosity? Just, it's just shorter. Okay. Because, I mean, know, you, you know, all you guys just call me Pinstripe. Yeah, you we know. Do. But then, part of the problem is, some other people I know, they call me Paragon. And it what? really <laughs> what? Who calls you what? Paragon? Who calls you? Does Gabby oh, call you Paragon? Paragon. <laughs> uh, I can't weird. think of anybody off the top of my head, but it has happened on multiple occasions. Before. Oh yeah, didn't you? Didn't you tell me it was people from the old group who what? called you that? Like before we moved to Discord, the people that were still talking to us. Wasn't it one of them? Because I swear I remember having this conversation with you. Because when I was uh, trying to edit your videos, I was like, oh, I'm going to be called Paragon. And then you said, I don't know if that will work because this guy and this guy used to call me Paragon. See, I don't, dude. again, I don't remember who, I don't but, either, I, but specific, I remember. This is going to sound so bad, but I remember them having a British accent. Oh, no, this is <laughs> That's all I can remember. It was it fucking <laughs> Infinity? I, I don't know. So They're just that? like, hey, Paragon, what's up? And I'm like, does, uh, do you actually know who I'm talking about, Keeler? Does, uh, that, does no, the Tia person don't. call you Paragon? Uh, no. We, we're, she usually uses, like, Chris. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, like, that's right. Name. I remember from the podcast. That's right. Yeah. Um. So it's either that or Paragon or Pinstripe, but it's just like, well. But, like, where did they get that from? Yeah, that's well, weird. I understand it's part of my name, but it's like. Did you they know, just look at the, the word second pinstripe? part of my name? They should just like, call you. They, just... they should just call you like PP or something. <laughs> <laughs> One guy just... actually does. Oh no! Did they just look at like pinstripe and was like, you know what? That's too big of a word for me. I'm gonna go with Paragon. It, even though, wait. Okay, Paragon is seven and letters. Like, why would you even take the Pin Paragon out? Pinstripe is got, like nine letters. You've got like two oh. games named after you now. I know! <laughs> but... Yeah. Uh, oh, do you even like those games? I mean... Pinstripe looks cool. Paragon doesn't. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Moving... So... And, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So I just tried to change my Twitter handle to just pinstripe. And someone took but, it, right? Yeah, but see, let me let me find the account. I'm gonna switch I, my I'm gonna switch I'm I'm making a personal announcement right now. I'm gonna switch my my at uh CWW Keeler. I'm just gonna at CWW now. Just so Does that even work? No. Because <laughs> there's a there's so a short. There's a, I think there's something to do with CWW because I remember trying to look for something, mm -hmm. and it was like something had, like some company had their name as CWW something, and I couldn't get the like it was some weird thing because I think I was trying to make Machinima at some point because okay. I used to do that, and I was gonna name a secondary channel called CWW TV or whatever. But I think there was already a CWW TV. Because I remember hitting that wall very early on in that career okay. choice. Right. So to conclude my gaming plans, yeah, I'm going to stream Persona 4 Golden once I, uh, the Hardcore Rezet fan trophy is the only one I have left. And then after mm -hmm. after that, I'm gonna play Catherine because I watched uh, I watched Gina stream Catherine for like an hour, and now I want to play the game. Yeah, dude, Catherine's like one of the best uh, Persona Studio spinoff games they've made. Like I could tell from what really I saw good. in the gameplay. It's it's probably I I think isn't that the only spinoff game they made? Because that was their break between Persona Four and Five. I know, remember he did a let's play, but he didn't even finish it. <laughs> uh, the game is a puzzle game, so yeah. 
Or he just got too tired of it. Because it does get pretty hard at the end, but it's still easy. I remember watching uh, Gina rage because as she was getting chased down by the baby or whatever. Oh, yeah, that, that yeah. part. Like, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't, like, quit and shut down the stream. Well, she quit after she uh, beat the level, but I thought she was going to yeah. rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should that, make that, Jake play that game. Yeah. Yeah, well, he'd probably get Jake? like probably get five minutes in and be like, what when do, when can I play the game? Is he even there? I don't know, man. He Freaking... he like walked he got far away from his mic at some point and then just left, I guess, because the conversation didn't suit him. Yeah. Or either or he got upset because he got brought up on two charges when he thought it was only gonna be one. Yeah, he just left. He's like, I'm done. It sucks for him. All right, let, let's finally move on to these topics because right. there, there's a lot. Okay. So we'll, I don't we'll, know we'll, what any of these are. So this we'll try to do them a little quicker. First, we got to address the elephant in the room, of course. Uh, PewDiePie said the N word while playing PUBG. Oh, okay. We're going straight. And now, for this. like, and now uh, the people who made Firewatch gave him a copyright strike. So you like... see, this is a bittersweet moment for me because I think it was, it, it's not his fault. Yeah, it's weird that he would say that word versus yeah. some other word while playing an online game. But accidents do happen. It's human habit yeah. for people to slip up and say stuff. And it's bittersweet because I like Firewatch because it takes place in Wyoming and I live in Wyoming yeah. and I like it. But I don't agree with the decision that they made because they've openly gone out before and be like, yeah, we love it when people let's play our videos. Yeah, I saw that. Videos. Yeah, we highly encourage it. And then this, and then PewDiePie slip up happens and they're, you know what? We're going to go after this guy. Like, it's legally okay playing, for us to do it. He wasn't even playing Firewatch. That's no, crazy. like if, yeah, like that would be different. If he was playing Firewatch, Firewatch and he dropped the N word, then yeah, you know, sure. I can see it. But he wasn't. He was playing PUBG. Yeah. Like, why? And they're, trying and to, it, the, they're trying to get other devs to shut him down. Yeah. Like, come on now. Yeah, dude. And it's been so long since that Let's Play. I'm like, does, does it even matter? He's already made the money from it. I know so, like, a lot of content see, my, creators are really my upset. My biggest concern with this is just the fact that while this is just the kind of claim they made the DMCA, because like you know, it, it is still fair use. They've said many times, like you, Keeler said, like, you know, we we want people to play our game on the internet, you know, upload, whatever. But the, the main problem is, once you say that and then go back on that, just specifically for one person, that just sort of opens the floodgates for a potential, like... You know, another adpocalypse, if it were for. Well, we're this. still we're still in the adpocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you, you get what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like yeah. it just it just adds to an a possible other another problem yeah. that yeah, could cause... start at any time. It was really annoying seeing news outlets that like don't even make videos about like gaming. Like I was scrolling through my timeline, I see complex news. They usually do like music and like pop culture. The freaking like oh PewDiePie's on his racist shit again. That's what the title was. Oh, it's like yeah. PewDiePie yeah, that, on his that's racist been annoying. shit again. It's like you guys have never gave a crap about stuff like this. I know, like, like this PewDiePie, is... just so you could get more views. Yeah, right. this is such a big deal that like people outside of the video game realm are talking about it. Like uh, you guys know who Joe Rogan is, right? Yeah. He's a UFC commentator, and he has his own podcast. He talked about it on that. Mm -hmm. I listened to that every so often, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, man, what is this going to be? A Wall Street Journal listen, like, rubbing their hands right now. <laughs> like, like, this is a big deal when it shouldn't really be a big deal, because didn't someone else it's... just do the same thing and nothing happened to him? Yeah, it was. I think it was Ice Poseidon. Yeah, I think it was, too. Yeah, he, I don't know. he did the same shit, and nobody said anything. Yeah, like... But... Yeah, but because it's PewDiePie, yeah. he's the face of YouTube. And you know the media yeah. can spin that and be like, "Hey, look, don't don't 
don't associate with him. He's a piece of shit. Trust us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, like, the media has been trying to take him down forever. And this just gives them so much more ammo. Being like, oh, he's now a Nazi racist. Yeah. You know, because they were trying to go after him for being a Nazi before. Yeah. Be like, and See? then all the Nazis actually showed up in Charlottesville. Yeah, and this. Uh, it's crazy that the world we live in that this is what happened you know and just people forget well I, I i understand why the news is doing it because it's like oh we have to make a set amount of articles mm. in a month or a week right yeah uh, i don't know the stipulation i'm not an article dude but like i just know that there are rules like hey you need to push this many get this many clicks on it and views on it so it makes sense why they would have to do that you know it's just i hate it when they spin it out of their control yeah right? and it affects someone else over like something that they didn't mean to do at all or the didn't. sad thing about news related stories such as this is let's face it you know there there's all these articles about it but it's all basically the exact same article yeah yeah oh yeah yeah it's basically copy paste but with different wording here and there it's like it's like that meme where it's like hey copy my homework but make sure it's not copied my homework yeah 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 I'll make sure but yeah it's every single article is basically the same thing Fine for and then there'll one. be like the occasional the clickbait is PewDiePie is racist but then yeah. in the article it's defending PewDiePie <laughs> and it's like oh okay <laughs> that's 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 cool clickbait i see all these people like, talking about like. even pewdiepie himself was like i yeah i think um one of the tricks to making it on youtube is you need to give a person a reason to you know click on your video with the title so like he was kind of promoting like having clickbaity titles i mean <laughs> hate to say it but he's not wrong yeah like i didn't think he out of all people he'd be the one to be like yeah, you should ask for subs. But uh, one, the thing of his, I think that made the most sense. He said he puts the most time into the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense because a lot of like him, Markiplier, Jack, they all look super photoshopped and took a lot of time, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. all of them, this type of stuff looks like that. Yeah. And PewDiePie made a mistake. Forgive the man, but T. Like, Martin gets off scot-free for csgo lotto incident yeah yeah, the, oh, yeah. i it guess does. they they ruled they were like oh nothing like this has happened before so uh they were pretty much just like just don't do it again yeah and it's i think it's because it came out it it came out that they owned it yeah. or like were executives or whatever yeah uh it came out at a time when you didn't have to on youtube at least you didn't it wasn't the rule wasn't actually there that you had to say hey i'm this is a sponsored video yeah yada yada, yada. you know they it wasn't around when it happened and then it happened and then people started doing it just to save themselves like hey this is an ad a uh, sponsored video whatever you know I mean, I kind of get why they would get off with it, because didn't really was a rule that was plainly obvious, I guess. But freaking oh my But yeah, God. that's dumb that they yeah, but, did get away with it. Uh, you know, like this, people don't care about this stuff. He's still gonna have a ton of viewers. He's still gonna be able to go on GoFundMe and ask for money for a freaking and Porsche 911, those, and they'll yeah, give him the money. <laughs> Yep, and trick all those kids that keep watching them into giving them money. It's yeah. just dumb. Pinsers really like, dumb. I, I wish I could do a Kickstarter <laughs> for cars. <laughs> oh my God. I wish I had. Right. Just have a GoFundMe now, Pinstra, to bring back the Paragon in Pinstripe's name. <laughs> bring back, Pinstripe Pinstripe bring back Paragon's name. Bring back Paragon. $3,000. Bring back Paragon. <laughs> People lining up to spend the money. Yeah. Watch back, pin straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, then Keeler just appears on my channel. <laughs> I just appear. The Paragon's back, but it's a space. It's pin straight Paragon, but there's a space between the two. 
And then I start uploading videos. Be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, I'm Paragon. You asked for me. Okay. <laughs> it's you like he just her. he splits up into two people. Yeah. So, That'd uh, be funny, but so yeah. uh, a modder made a mod that removes the Creation Club content <laughs> from Fallout Four. I didn't even know they notified you in the game that it existed. Why would yeah, they do they that? Do. They even download the mod onto your game. God, you just can't access. It's on this DLC. Yeah. It's basically what it is. It's it's a mo it's a modified version of on this DLC where they make you download it in an update file. But you can't access it unless you pay for it. Fucking Bethesda, man. Who's push, gonna push the damn shit in your face? Can't wait Play to it. see how the, they incorporate uh, the Creation Club into the next Elder Scrolls. Because they're, they're probably gonna do some crazy controversial shit. Yeah. Like, like I don't care that, uh, that the Creation Club is a thing. Because I think it's a cool thing that they're willing to pay modders to do that you know when it was free yeah and they were making nothing off of it because there's some really cool ass mods that came out uh that have been coming out for years you know and they didn't see any money from it well sometimes they would if they opened like a donation link yeah. on their website but most of the time they never saw it and i i always thought like hey this is really cool that let's um modders finally get something out of it you know mm -hmm. but i think the way that they're doing it is bad but, you know i feel like the mod should still be free but allow you to be like hey if you like this mod it's five bucks two du two bucks three bucks you know isn't there a no. rule that like prevents you from using uh any like a mod related to any of their previous ips or something or like making one like like if you so. had like fallout 4 you can't have fallout 3 mods so i don't think so because there have been Fallout 3 mods for Fallout... Well, Fallout 3 item mods for Fallout 4. In the Creation Club? Oh, no, no, no. Not. Yeah, that's, well, what, that's what I meant. Prey's in it. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a Prey one oh. on the Creation Club. Like, the armor from Prey is in it. Oh, okay. I never go in there. So I, have... I don't either. I, it's like one of the imi like uh, stock images you see whenever people talk about it. Is they scroll scroll down on it, and then you see usually the the, the Chinese stealth armor, which is from Fallout Three, and then uh, the prey armor. I think that's usually it. I can check real quick, but yeah, that's usually it. All right. So Okami HD was pretty pretty much confirmed for current gen consoles and PC through it uh, through it getting its rating in Korea. Is any is anybody? Ex I still haven't like played through that game yet. I played like the first five minutes. I thought eh, it's not for me, you know. Okay. Uh, I I didn't really like it, but I did play the Wii version, so that's probably why. But I I would be willing to play it again. I just never got into it. I know a lot of people did, and that's it's very exciting news that it's coming back, but. It's another game where it was like, well, it was remastered on PS3, and now it's back again. But, yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of it, I guess it's cool. And if you never played it, that's still cool. But if you played every version of it, you probably shouldn't buy it, you know? Yeah. But uh, I guess if you like it a lot, you could do it. Have you played Okami Pinstray? I have. It... I mean, I enjoyed what I did play, but it just couldn't hold my interest too well. Okay. Nothing against the game. It was just I don't know if I played it at a bad time or. If I know it's just. I know Jake loves the game. I don't know where the heck that fool went, but. Yeah. I know he, yeah. he loves Okami. I know I got a, I know I got a sequel on the DS called Okami Den. Yeah. Yeah. I never played that one. I forgot yeah. that even existed. <laughs> yeah, I remember it because I think Chugga Conroy. Let's play it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Because I remember I watched his Okami Let's Play, and I was like, man, this game looks so fun. And then I played it, and I was like, uh, I'm not really into it yeah, that I much. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Right. Like, I'm glad people like it because it does look fun, but I'm, it's just not my type of game. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's it's great that people like it, so then other obscure 
games end up coming out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, but also tempted to buy that Okami scarf at PAX. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, dude, it's like twenty five bucks. But, great. NBA Two K eighteen will be thirty frames per second on the Switch. What else is new? The, the Switch is um. It is underpowered, of course. Yeah, they freaking the for they rush Xbox. that freaking garbage. So it makes sense. It would be thirty frames. It wouldn't surprise me if WWE two K seven eight two K eighteen two K eighteen came out and was like, "Hey, thirty FPS too." It yeah. looks like a three sixty PS three game, but up resed some more. Like it wouldn't surprise me if they did that. Um, but it doesn't. It just doesn't surprise me because <laughs> yeah. it's the Switch, you know. Not to harp on the Switch graphical prow- prowess, because it's way better than the Wii U, of course. But yeah. It's still not that next-gen Nintendo system a lot of people wanted. If only and they that had, sucks. But if only they had have... waited and put that freaking uh, up-to-date graphics chip in there instead of just rushing yeah. the thing out. Yeah, but at least it could play Skyrim, I guess. Yeah. In Doom and Wolfenstein 2, which is surprising that Doom and Wolfenstein 2 are coming out on that too. Who just but, joined? Uh, it's Memba. Oh, all right, there he is. All right, what's good, Memba? Wow, this is new. I know, right? We we actually have. Well, there's five of us here. Jake freaking went AFK. I don't know where he went. Yeah, Jake left. He's but, gone. Uh, we put him on charges. I don't remember if we told you what for Memba, but he said. Four minutes in a level in Sonic is too long. What, what happened? Uh, we put Jake on charges because he said four minutes in a level in a Sonic game is too long. First, first of all, what Sonic game is he talking about? He was about? playing Sonic Generations. He was complaining about Planet Wisp. Four minutes is like nothing. Has he played Sonic Unleash? Probably oh, we not. completely forgot about that game, guys. No, I did. I did too. There's a night stage in that game. It literally there's a there's a stage in that game where it literally takes like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, there is. <laughs> but isn't that it. the beast mode though? Like the werehog mode? Still no, I'm talking, I'm talking about Eggman Land. Oh, that, right. Yeah, it you're takes right. like 20 minutes. Yeah, you're well, right. Well, less less than that, but like on average, like 15, 20. Minutes. Beast mode. And like <laughs> and like and like Shamar Night stage with the werehog takes like. Like what? Nine minutes? Something like that. Yeah, he finished. He finished Planet Wisp class, Wait, he, classic. Classic in he, like six minutes and thirty seconds. And why? Three. Why is he complaining? He's played that game before. Why is he complaining about that now? I don't. Know. I don't know. Yeah, he's he like just, four minutes is too long. It's boring. He, the I game. I'm supposed long. to go fast. I I'm rather like, have long Sonic. Season. I'm like that's how you tell he had like he said he's played Sonic at one and two. Like what is he complaining about? Like, what are you complaining about? Like, we didn't even bring up how we willingly jumped into spikes on Planet Wisp for, like, no <laughs> reason. If anybody saw that, that was disgusting. I'm like, what do you do? I think he was trying to get a ring, but then he just jumped into the spike. I'm like, what are you doing? God, man. Yeah, what, what's good, member? This guy, he, he pre ordered Marvel Infinite and it's coming out tomorrow, so he's ready. Wait, me? I didn't pre-order. Oh, you, you didn't pre-order it. I'm, I'm about to buy it on G2 right yo, now. Yo, yo. Speaking of, we gotta talk about we gotta talk about those costumes oh, the being sixty. Oh, oh. Hold on, is that real? Is that on Steam right now? Uh, that's what I saw. Somebody took a screenshot, but hold yeah, on, I'm sure. Hold on, because I have to check something. Because something came in the mail today, and I need to check to see if this is legit. So, if you want to talk, so you want to talk about the eggs or the costumes first? Like, it's true. It's true. I'm looking at it right now on the Steam store. Each right. talk about. Well, yeah, the, on, let's, let, let's not talk about the costumes. Let's talk about the okay. eggs. All right. So, and, <laughs> and if you if you were if you were lucky enough to get uh, if you were lucky enough to get the uh, deluxe was it the deluxe edition? I think it's the collector's edition. Yeah, the, the col- no, or it's one of those two. I don't know. What yeah, it is. yeah, the the collector's we edition the or whatever point. for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, you're you're supposed to get Infinity Stones, right? Like, and they were advertised yeah. to look like super cool and light up and stuff, but they're just they're just like eggs. Yeah, they're they even light up. <laughs> yeah, no. they they light up, but you can barely oh, tell. My bad. Oh, rip. Like, yeah, I'll post it again in this chat. Yeah, but, so you, number can see it. 
Titans is right here. Yes. It's so bad. Yes, you like look at that. It's just, it's. I'm it's like so I'm not even surprised. This is this is what Capcom does. Oh my god, it's like, a bunch of guard. They look like Easter eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I can't even be surprised. It, it's Capcom. Why like Easter eggs? You can't. Dude, as a Marvel it's fan, it's the ultimate Easter egg in the game. I that's don't a dis- understand. That's a disgrace to Marvel. I don't understand why they think that's an Infinity Stone. That doesn't look <laughs> like any Infinity Stone I've ever seen in any of the comics, TV shows, or the movie. It doesn't look anything like it. That's just a fucking Easter egg. <laughs> And people, have you seen like all the memes? Like people getting those superhero eggs, and they're like, "I got my Infinity Stones." And then there were freaking people that were like, "Oh, the reason they look like that is because they were used to fix the characters' faces." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, like I guess. I mean, if that it's true, I but. Just, <laughs> I just love how Capcom keeps like making oh pre- mediocre God. products, and then people are just like, "Stop complaining, just accept it." Yo, just, just, just what you get. You get fucking how eggs. Eggs, my boy. And Dude, you. Okay, hold on. I'll what? save that for later. Okay, I'll so save it. The, the the deluxe edition costumes, by the way, if you want to buy them separate, they are sixty dollars each, and you can only get There's two of them. There's no way. There's what? There's you want no evil Ryu? Way that's right. You want evil Are you Ryu? kidding me? What 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 was a Thor costume again? I don't. I thought it was like evil Ryu Hulk. It was like evil Ryu costume was a Hulk costume. Um, one was it wasn't one a Hagar costume? I don't. Know. No, I mean like uh, I think right now in the store I only saw like two of the costumes that you get for pre-ordering the deluxe edition you can actually buy separate and they're 60 dollars where can i each. how do i view how do i view these costumes and here it go is. to the deluxe edition and then uh view info what, why can't and then, oh package like, like, info like who, yeah, yeah. who would buy who would pay 60 dollars for an evil ryu costume oh god it's legit yes <laughs> yeah yeah dude it's legit like you, i can i can straight up waste 60 bucks on a who here thinks Maximilian will buy the costumes? Oh wait, no, I see why it's okay. I don't think you can buy them separately. Oh, what is it? Does the game come with the costume? Yeah, because well, I thought I, it, I, I, I the... thought that when you pre-ordered the the game, you get the costumes, right? Is it yeah, yeah. It says pre-purchase Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Standard Edition. It says includes three items: the game, Warrior Thor costume, and Evil Ryu costume. And then I thought I... you were supposed to get all four. No, that's if no? you get the deluxe edition. I yeah. think. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm like. They they really put the Mega Man X Command Mission costume behind the deluxe edition. What a, what There's a not fun. even a price for that costume. It's yeah. just... Yeah, I'm so- you love Capcom. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, God. Alright, so... Uh, I need to know what time this game drops. It's probably gonna drop for PC at like midnight. Yeah, yeah, probably at like, like 9 o'clock my time. Uh, you know, your, 9 uh, your time. Nine. Wait, 9 your time? 9 my time, because then it would be midnight for you. Yeah. I need to know Marvel... See, okay. So I'm with the G two A to shit out of this. Moving on to, actually, I can't even say this is less depressing. This is probably more depressing. Oh no! The creator of Borderlands says the game's art style is holding the game back. What? Oh right. Yeah. Rele- okay, so release date. Well, didn't, they Borderland- they, didn't they say that the guns aren't gonna drop from the characters' hands anymore because they were focusing too much on the art style? I guess. I read. Because that, that's what I read was that uh, the Borderlands three, three right or is it four? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. But whichever one is the next one, uh, w- the enemies won't be dropping their guns because of the art uh, style. They just want to put them in loot boxes or some shit. Yeah, probably. That, that's all that is fucking greedy. Most likely. I bet Let's you go. we're gonna get some Last of Us like graphics from Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> and I am I'm not right. gonna play that shit. I'm just gonna keep playing Borderlands too. 
That's name. right. Uh, dude. All right, so we're gonna move on to some Destiny Tomb news. I know Keeler's ready. All oh, right, man. All right, so first uh, let's talk about the the micro transactions. So you can buy silver to get bright ingrams. This is not the only way you get bright ingrams. You can get them in the game. It, I forgot. You get one every time you. No, it's not every time you level up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, starting at after you achieve level twenty, okay. uh, it'll let you keep getting experience to fill the bar. Oh yeah, and, and every time it fills filled. up, then you get the bright yeah. ingram. Okay, yeah. and you can it's get. It's basically like you're leveling up after twenty, but you just get a bright ingram instead. Yeah, and you can get like ships and and shader. Oh yeah, shaders are single use now. You you get them in bundles of what was it three to five? Yeah, yeah, it's three. I think five for something. It might not be five. It might just be three. I don't know. Yeah. But I know for sure it's three. Uh, I I think I saw something drop at five once. Yeah. Now they're they're not single sure. they're single use on an individual piece of gear, and this has made people yeah. very upset because I feel like this was a move <laughs> motivated by greed. I saw that they. They Bungie said, so, "Oh, I want conversations like I want to do a raid to get that shit to get more of that shader." They said they want conversations like that to exist, but a lot of people aren't buying that. Well, that might be Bungie's explanation of why they had to, why Activision probably forced yeah, them to they, do they, it. They can't just say Activision made me do it. Yeah, so they have to give some reason, and it sucks because the raid shader I only got three of them. Really? And I was looking at it, and it looks really damn good. It's like gold with white, and it looks really, really? cool. He was like, I'm yeah. ready to do the raid again. <laughs> Did, I didn't All say right, that. So I just <laughs> said the, the shader looks really much, cool. It, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't grind a raid for a shader. Unless it I wouldn't. Was, unless it was that God of War shader from Destiny 1, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I, love, I love that shader. Slightly forgot that existed. Marvel. <laughs> But yeah, uh, well, more Destiny 2 news. The the aim assist on PC is oh extremely God. generous if you're using a controller or if you're using a keyboard and mouse with, with one of those converters. When you aim at someone, like, and you aim at their head, like, the thing literally, like, sticks to their head. It's super good, and if you're using a keyboard and mouse with a converter, it's, it's just stupid. Yeah, like... I, I didn't see it, but probably because I'm not using a converter, so I didn't ever see the the aim assist when I played the beta for it on PC. But I mean, I'm still gonna play, play the PC game regardless. Shooters. Destiny has 60 frames. I don't know. To me, it looks like it's what it should have been. Yeah, it's at 144 frames max. Uh, it won't go above yeah. 144. But if people say that they could see past. Like probably 120. I just said, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> my my uh, my laptop will let me play it at 120, so I'm probably gonna want to see that too. <laughs> yeah, oh God, that's gonna look. That look cool. Good. More Destiny 2 news. Uh, sales are down by 58. percent I, I think this one. I think this nice. one can be easily Whoa. explained. Because you said sales are. Yeah, sales are for for, for Destiny 2. Yeah, Destiny I I okay. think. Uh, the explanation I would give is like when Destiny 1 came out it was like advertised as the greatest thing on the planet and it made a lot of people want to buy it and then you know when a lot of people you know when they finally got their hands on the game they felt like they got ripped off and they didn't want to give Destiny 2 a chance as a result oh yeah like that makes sense of course but um yeah like it's it says here i'm trying to look up stuff about it but apparently activision is saying it's really good it's selling enough so that's yeah good. It's selling enough because you still got you still got millions of hardcore destiny fans you said you said uh, how much percent 58 percent down right? by 58 oh that's in the uk <laughs> oh it's in the uk yeah compared to destiny one it says right here Oh, okay. Uh, Destiny 2 launch week sales down 58% in the UK compared to Destiny 1. Okay. So yeah, of course, like, probably in the US, money was made back easily. But 
Yeah, like, I could see this still being, like, an overall thing if it was, but I doubt it, because I, like, my whole friends list this whole week has, oh, these last two weeks, really, have been just full of people playing Destiny, and then whenever I'm in, like, the Ruby Discord I'm in, mm-hmm. tons of people, only, like, people in the gaming chat for that were only talking Destiny 2 for, like, two weeks, mm-hmm. and just now are starting to talk about other games. Speaking of Destiny 2, I found out Titanfall was Titanfall 2 was $15 yesterday. <laughs> I have it to go 12. grab the uh, what member? Oh nothing. It was it was twelve. Is it, it was twelve what? It was twelve dollars because of the PlayStation pick sale and made it twelve bucks. Oh my god, dude. I, I got uh, for PS Plus members and I think fifteen for normal. I gotta users. I gotta grab that soon. That is that's think... so dumb. I think it ends tomorrow. Shit. So I think it ends on the 19th or it ended today on the. No, no, it ends tomorrow because tomorrow's Tuesday and the weekly PlayStation reset is tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, it ends tomorrow. All right. Uh, we're almost down to our PlayStation news, but we got one more piece of other news. Uh, South Park, the fractured butthole. Uh, <laughs> The difficulty you pick changes your skin color. White is easiest, and like the darkest, of, <laughs> the darkest of brown is the hardest. I, re- I remember this. Yeah, I remember. Like, I, I sent the two guys. Confirmed. <laughs> well, like it's because they're trying to make a statement, you know, like because yeah. South Park, like yeah, they make fucking stupid jokes a what? lot, but like a lot of the time, uh, whenever they tackle a like controversial issue they usually are like on the side of hey doesn't this look so dumb you know Mm -hmm. and if i'm bet it's gonna be the same thing where if you are it does suck though if you want to play as a (laughs) african-american you know big z can't big z told me like i think he said it doesn't make like the enemies harder but it makes it so that you get like less money and it's harder to develop relationships with people or something I have, I didn't read that. I only know that the shader, the difficulty shader exists. Yeah. <laughs> like that's all I know about it, so I have no idea. But yeah, I think like if if it is still in the game when it comes out, it's gonna be very controversial topic in gaming and entertainment news for like probably that month, mm-hmm. and then people are just gonna stop caring. Is what probably will happen. Because so, that's what usually happens with South Park is they they talk about it, they realize oh it's South Park, and they stop. <laughs> so yeah. All right, now we can finally move on to PlayStation news. All right, so PlayStation got hacked again. Yeah. <laughs> PS Plus for September. Uh, actually, there's oh, not that God. much PlayStation news. There's only like let's, two let's pieces. Hear, of let's news. hear the garbage. Let's hear the garbage game lineup for PlayStation Plus. Well, you got Infamous Second Son. I forgot to mention I was right. playing that. Like, beat, Besides that. beat that game on the hero side super quick, and I'll probably try to get the platinum because. Oh, it, it seems, I never got. Huh? No, I'll finish for it. It, it seems like uh, it seems like the platinum will be super easy to get. If you're wondering how I feel about the game. Uh, I think it's more fun to play than the other two, but the story sucks balls. Freaking, I, I don't care about, I don't care about like any of the characters. And it's like, I feel like everything in the story just happened too fast. Because it's like, yeah, like it was a launch title, so they probably rushed it. It's like just to make launch. It's like you get to know the nerd kid, and then he immediately just gets kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, I, I remember that. Yeah, like, I, I didn't care about the story at all, but the gameplay was, like, awesome. Uh, I was wondering why the move list or whatever was so small, but then I forgot that uh, Desmond's power is to, like, whenever he touches a conduit, he absorbs their power, so you end up get you get you get smoke powers get neon powers you get video powers and you get uh you get concrete powers and the car the concrete powers are like super busted (laughs) yeah it's it's a it's a lot of fun at first 
I was confused. I was like, how the hell do I switch powers? But I found you have to absorb the resource for the power you want in order to switch it. That can be annoying at times. It's like, for certain things, I'll be like, I want to use my neon powers. This is with the neon powers. You can run like super fast and you can run up walls. But sometimes I'll be in a spot where like, there's no neon source. You have to go somewhere else. Or you'll yeah. just have to deal with the... Uh, whatever you can get but it's still uh, a really fun game to play too bad that the story was meh and Seattle didn't look like Seattle probably Vancouver <laughs> it looked better it looked better than it did in the crew but that doesn't say that much <laughs> uh, Naughty Dog's co-director uh, left Oh wait, I'm sorry, I didn't mention the rest of PlayStation Plus. Oh yeah, I, I just realized that. But then again, uh, let's see if uh, anybody cares about any of these other games. Okay, we got Strike Vector, EX, Truck Racer. Never heard of it. You guys like Truck Racer? No. What? I, uh, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Handball. 18 Wheeler the game? Handball 2016. Wait, are, what, what, what game did you just say? Truck Racer. No, but I <laughs> Handball 2016. What? What are these games? We Are Doomed. This crossed by an Hateful Boyfriend. Oh, oh yeah. A uh, Hateful Boyfriend is a visual oh, novel sorry. about, is about um, birds, and you play as a bird. Oh no, I think you play as a human trying to fuck a bird. What? I think, I'm not the I bird. think that's it's either I'm you play as a bird or you play as a human trying to fuck a bird. Jesus Christ. It's, it's usually it's usually like that. It's weird. Like the visual novel genre is really weird like that. And I think another one of the uh PlayStation Plus games mm-hmm. is Riggs, a PSVR game. Cause it's free right now. It might just be free for everyone, or it might be like an additional free for PS Plus, but not counted as a PS Plus lineup. But hey, that's a VR eSport game. Yeah. You want to buy uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2? Garden Warfare 2? From you? Well, no, it's like 10 bucks right now. No, I can't, dude. It ends tomorrow. I don't have $10. <laughs> I wish, but nah. But yeah, yeah, Riggs is also on there, which is a eSport VR game. Amazing. I heard, was, I heard it was good. I haven't been able to play it. All right. All right. On to uh, Xbox. Uh, all right. I don't have this on the list, but I saw this earlier today. So if anybody cares, uh, I think until what's, what's today? Thanks. Oh, I think I think until like tomorrow or something. I don't remember, but. If you buy an Xbox One S, you get a $50 gift card, and you get one free game. I mean, that's does, cool, Does but anybody care? I mean, that's cool if you don't have an Xbox One yet. Yeah. But, like, Xbox One X is coming out. Yeah, you're right. Isn't it coming <laughs> out just... next month? No, it comes out November, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's November is when it comes out, because... It's around the Christmas holiday. Are you season, getting one? So. Uh, I I don't know. My dad has been expressing how much he wants one. Okay. Uh, so he might end up getting one for himself okay. for Christmas. <laughs> so <laughs> I I so I can see what it's like and play stuff on it whenever he's not home. But yeah, I'm I'm not personally gonna get one because I have my dad's Xbox One now. He I... just gave me. <laughs> I saw one of those hardcore fanboys on Twitter. They said that they're buying an Xbox One X for their whole household. So like one for him, one for his kid, and one for his wife. Okay, that's that's <laughs> that's a little too much. I think I think if you wanted a whole Xbox One, like Xbox family instead of PlayStation, mm. just just buy an Xbox One S for your kids. We need three Xboxes in one house. <laughs> Here With the power of the Xbox One X, oh, okay. we can all play Crackdown 3. God, if only the, you know, the power of the cloud was real. And that got delayed to next year, didn't it? Oh yeah, it did. They, they <sighs> yeah, freaking delayed it again. 
Uh, is, is, are people to... were people even that excited for Crackdown three? I was. I I like Crackdown. I didn't like the second one because they added zombies to yeah. it. But I loved the first one. I thought the first one was such a good game, and it was such a good launch title for the 360. Uh, it was really fun, really uh, interesting game. Uh, I usually go back. I I did actually go back a few weeks ago and played like a little bit of Crackdown one. I liked it. Uh, still, and uh, yeah, I am excited for Crackdown 3. I just every time I keep seeing it delayed uh, in the back of my head, I'm like, man, this is gonna be like scaled down, <laughs> or they just cancel it out of the blue one day. Cancel it, which I don't think they will because they put so much time into Crackdown 3. So I hope not. All right, yeah, but yeah, I've heard, I've heard nothing but good things about Crackdown. Hopefully, 3 lives up. <laughs> To this hype, yeah. especially how many times have we seen Crackdown at E3? We saw it 2015, okay. I think, is when we first saw it. I think it was either 15 or 16. No, it was 15. Yeah, yeah, it was 15, I believe, is when we first saw it. And then we saw it. I don't think we saw it at 16. And then 17, we saw that trailer with uh, Terry Crews in it. Okay. I think that's how it went, because I remember a year where it was just gone, and everyone was like, well, did they cancel it? And then it came back. I think that's what happened. Or it was 14, and then they skipped 15, and, and then it was 16 and 17. I don't know. I just remember there was a year gap between when it was announced and when they showed more. Okay. All right, so yeah gonna keep playing the delay game but uh speaking of uh more games uh an rpg being made by obsidian called stormlands was canceled by microsoft no that's highly disappointing because obsidian is yeah. really good at making the western rpgs along with bethesda like bethesda does more mainline mm -hmm. and they like modernize the Western RPG, but I think Obsidian is probably like the best RP Western RPG yeah. developer. Give them Fallout back, fam, because man, yeah, like, after like 90 hours of Fallout 4, I couldn't stand the fucking game yeah, anymore. Like, like New Vegas was probably it's still probably it's still my favorite Fallout. Yeah, game. dude, New Vegas. They is made. Too good. They made. It, though. <laughs> oh wait, no, he said Knights that's three. <laughs> oh, okay. They made Knights of the Old Republic 2, which was really good, too. It was a great successor to Knights of the Old Republic 1 that uh, Bioware made. So, like, they obviously know what they're doing when it comes to, like, whatever type of genre or whatever type of franchise they decide to do, you know? And then they have made some of their own games. I think one of them blew up Sorry. recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. But... Yeah, I, I just hope that they get their hands on Fallout or Star Wars again because they made some really good games for that, for those franchises. Yeah, but I just feel like they're they're like destroying their rep, their uh, their relationships with third parties by mm -hmm. like they canceled Scalebound. Like people were hyped for that and they canceled it, and you know now they're they're canceling an Obsidian game. Like, what is Microsoft think? Are they just allergic to RPGs? I don't know, man. I think what's probably happening, I, I could probably guarantee it. It's probably the Xbox One X. Like, they probably have spent so much money trying to put the things in it mm -hmm. and make it $600 instead of $1,000 mm -hmm. that it's just... They just had to do that to some things, you know, and it sucks. Scaleband looked like DMC with Monster Hunter. And it looks interesting, but that's not gonna happen now. Uh, this Obsidian game, I had no idea until it came out that it was canceled. I was like, damn, that sucks. But huh, what are we gonna do? Would you have gotten Stormlands if it came out in Stripe? No, probably not, cause it's Western. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gotta, he's gotta stay true to the JRPGs. But. uh... In other news that nobody probably cares about, the original Xbox One is being discontinued. 
Whatever. Uh, yeah, makes sense. It's been a while since that first generation of Xbox Ones have been out. Yeah, PS4s, Xbox One S is P, uh, regular PS4s anything. don't come with 500 gig hard drives anymore, right? No, I think it's. I think baseline is terabyte now. Okay. I think. Unless you're buying like a pre-owned PlayStation 4 from GameStop, I but gotcha. yeah, like 500 gigs, it like it was okay, but you know I feel a lot more comfortable with a terabyte. Uh, all right, on to the juiciest piece of Xbox news. So some game journalist from I think a PC gaming thing, they were trying to they were trying to play Cuphead, and apparently this happened oh, at PAX. Goodness. Uh, this oh, happened yes. at PAX, and we we somehow did not see this. He was playing Cuphead, <clears throat> and all all he had to do was like, there were two pillars. It was a tiny one and a larger one. He just had to jump and dash, or he had to high jump and dash to get onto the higher pillar. But instead, he's running into the wall trying to jump on top of the higher pillar from next to it. What the fuck, dude? It and took... Didn't he write an article about it and then say how awful the controls were? Yeah, and it, it took him like I think like four or five minutes to realize that he had to high jump and dash onto the larger yeah, and pillar. I think in the article he said that there was no indication he had to do that, and I think Even before there were controls, he reached it. There yeah. were controls on the freaking thing. I'm like, oh my god! Like, like this reminds me of when I think it was Polygon mm-hmm. or or PC Gamer, and they. No, it couldn't have been PC Gamer. It was probably IGN or Polygon. Because they uh, they did a video showing Doom before it came out. And some dude was playing the PC version of it. And he couldn't aim, like, at all. Oh or it was, like, the console version. I can't remember. But I remember it blowing up. That some dude just could not aim on Doom. And it just reminded me of that. Race, man. I don't know. What do you guys... Th- what are... Memo and Pinchar, what do you guys think of these these game journalists that are terrible at games? Like, why are why are they even journalists? Uh, Dude, if they, can, if they can't even sit down to play a game to play a game for a decent amount of time. They should even be a fucking journalist. I don't care if they're bad at the game or not. I just want them to actually put time out to the game so they can actually do a great job and write a review or whatever or like write their experience on the game instead of just playing it picking it up for 10 minutes and be like this is too hard okay this game is a 4 out of 10 because it's too hard so Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is too hard so I'm gonna give it give it a, give it a 5 so who is, who is right. worse this guy or the guy who rage quit Crash halfway through and was like this game is Dark Souls oh man I don't know. Cause or, or that dude, okay. that dude who was playing Doom. Oh man, I don't know, man. Like, if you blame controls on a PC shooter, you're fucking stupid. Yeah, like that's like I, like I still get it though. If you were like console gamer all the way, and then you switch to like a PC thing to show that off for your company, and it was you who had to do it, I can get that. Mm-hmm. But there's. N- I think the dude is still really dumb for jumping and trying to jump on that platform when he all he had to do was jump and dash and it told him the controls. Like I don't I don't think Doom guy was really that at fault there really. More like Polygon or whoever he worked for is fault for making him do it. And he probably should have expressed that to his bosses or whoever gave it to him, but yeah, like I don't know, it's really hard to see who's really at fault. The Crash Bandicoot thing I can kind of see still too, because well, um, he's a modern game journalist and didn't play older games. The game could be hard, but it's not Dark Souls hard. It's not at all. Yeah, it's not. Jake might so, think so though, because he's trash. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of things. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when you said the juiciest Xbox One news, uh, there's something that came out today. Yeah. I don't know if you oh, have God. it on the list. What, what happened? Uh, so you know Fortnite? Yeah. So apparently, an update came out for the game that accidentally let PS4 and Xbox One users play together. Oh, yeah, I, and was I saw quickly that. turned off. I saw that early. Oh, my God, dude. Like, yeah. it, wasn't, it was literally like the flip of a switch, like they were saying. Yes. 
Yes, it was literally the flip of a switch. All they had to do was check a check mark somewhere. Uh, dude, what the fuck? I already know this is Sony's fault. They won't let uh, them crossplay with freaking anything. Yeah. Well, why? Yeah, it's that's for security happened. reasons. Bullshit. Let us crossplay, yeah. damn it. And not yeah, just with right. PC users. Freaking people on the Xbox One and the Switch are having the time of their lives with that freaking Rocket League. Like, what the fuck? Right, like, I don't understand, dude. Like, if it's that easy and it doesn't require anything from Sony and or Microsoft, just the game developer, why not do it, you know? Yeah, it's like, we need to... What would be cool? We need, like, like rankings to see, like, like who are the best players, what platform they play on, like... Except for shooters, because you already know PC gamers will just wreck it, but... Yeah. But freaking, like... Like, this is stuff we could have, but we can't, because of fucking corporate greed. Like, this corporation is fucking ruining gaming. Smash. Yeah. It's dumb. Jesus Christ. But anyway, yeah, I think that's probably the juiciest Xbox One details for today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot I about that, but I took a quick glimpse uh, of that on Twitter. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. But, uh, all right, now, on the Nintendo news, and we have a lot because of the Direct, right? Oh. So, first uh, news, Nintendo Switch won NPD for August, pretty much meaning it sold more than the PS4 and the Xbox One in August. So, it won July, and it won August. I think it won June, too. The Switch is doing... Yeah. A lot better than I thought it was going to do, and that's that's crazy. Like, uh, did did you guys think the Switch was gonna do this well? Or? Not at the start. Eventually, I knew it would obviously be better than the Wii U. It wasn't gonna take much. Yeah. But at I the think... start of the console's life, I wasn't sure what it was gonna do. Yeah, I think. Um... I knew it was gonna blow up because it's a it's a it's a console that you can just bring with you wherever you go. Yeah. Like that's the appeal to it is. Do you want to play Breath of the Wild while you're on a bus, a school bus, heading to school or heading home after yeah. school? You can do that. You can bring your Switch with you. Uh, like that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen a console do. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, you can just game on the go. You know, and I guess and I get like, oh, there's Game Boy, there's PSP, PS Vita, 3DS, but this is an actual console that yeah. you can take off and take it with you. Yeah, I, I thought a lot it. of people, I honestly thought a lot of people were just going to be like, screw that, I have my cell phone. Like, you know, these freaking, <laughs> these casuals out here, man. Like, I'll, I'll just play Candy Crush. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I thought that was going to slow down the Switch's momentum, but I guess not. It's good to see. No. It's good to see the Switch doing well. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, because uh, Nintendo, again, struck lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Has caught lightning in a bottle again. And figured out one of the coolest ideas, you know. Yeah, so future Switch games will require a micro SD card for access to the full game. This doesn't apply to every game, but I think it's mainly the third party games like uh, 2K. I think for 2K, they said... You would need you would need like five gigs to install it. You would need sixteen to ins to put the install data on the either on the console or on the micro SD, and then yeah. you would need an extra five gigs per save file that you want to make. And I'm just like, hmm. why is a save file five gigs? Seriously. Like, how, how do you get to this point? I don't know. Yeah, so that's that is extremely frustrating news because there's like no there's like no internal storage on the switch so like the moment you buy it you're gonna have to upgrade the storage yeah so and that sucks but yeah so from what i'm seeing this is mainly going to be an issue regarding the third party games so i don't, I don't know i don't know i feel like nintendo fans will probably be like oh this isn't a big deal yeah, we'll go buy one. Hopefully they buy one for the right size. That was me. I'd, I'd have to get at least like a 512 gig micro right. SD card to be to feel like I'd be comfortable. Cause 
Yeah, because it's 128. It's gonna that, that's games are gonna eat that up. Right. I I bet you there's gonna be bundles for holiday season. Nintendo Switch with a SD card. Hopefully. It I better bet not they're be gonna small be bundles. either. <laughs> Fifty gigabyte. Fifty gig <laughs> micro card. SD. Come get it. Micro. SD. <laughs> first come, first serve comes with Breath of the Wild. <laughs> God, man. Ugh. All right, Nintendo is shutting down Miiverse on November eighth. That means games that have features connected to Miiverse, those features will stop working in that game. Like for example, the those pictures in like Splatoon mm-hmm. that you'd see on people's things or whatever. Or like in Smash, the stage where you'd see the um the like those messages in the background with the pictures or whatever. Like stuff like that's gonna stop working. Damn. So, does doesn't, anybody, huh? doesn't Splatoon 2 use the Miiverse? Or? Yeah, I think so. And I think yeah, that's going to get affected yeah. by it too. So, does, does anybody care about Miiverse shutting down? Who's um, I... I mean, no. Makes I, the I, Smash stage completely useless. Yeah. Yeah, but... I didn't really use it that much anyway because... Uh... I didn't have anyone to play on that stage with, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Nintendo loses a $10 million lawsuit to iLife. Uh, they they showed up to court saying that the... The, uh... The Wii Remote violated their, uh... Their... Patent or whatever. And they won. And so they had to give Nintendo $10 million. And for some reason, even though Nintendo has money out the ass, they're trying to appeal this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, wait, wait, wait! So, so Nintendo was getting sued, or they were suing someone? They were getting sued, and they lost. Yeah. Nintendo lost. Yeah, so they lost ten million. For some reason, they're, they're trying to get that ten million back. I mean, like, I mean, you know, you have a money printer like the Wii, the 3DS, the yeah. Switch. Why? They probably why they probably bother? made ten million the day after they lost. <laughs> like, like, know, like, by the this... time they lose it, it's it's gonna be back within that week. It's like we got Fire Emblem Heroes, we got we got freaking the we got, we got, Zelda, we got Mario we got Splatoon, Run, we got Zelda Splatoon, we got, the Switch is we got, what else? We got Arms, yeah. Mario Mario's coming out in the um, holidays. That Metroid Prime 4 is coming out in like next year. Man, we want to make a fuck ton of money. What yeah. ten million dollars ain't shit. I wipe my ass for ten million dollars. Yeah, like seriously, <laughs> Nintendo. Even though like they do a lot of stuff wrong, they got the money printers. Like they can afford yeah, to mess yeah, up. I don't care. God, man. All right, it's a stupid piece of news. Nintendo confirms Mario is no longer a plumber. Oh yeah, they announced it for the Odyssey, right? So, oh, he sold like, everything. Like, oh, what is he now? Mario's Did they been say? everything. Mario's everything. He is everything. Yeah, He's been every- everything. Including missing. He's yeah. the everyman. <laughs> Jesus. Like, so yeah, we didn't we didn't need to know he wasn't a plumber. Like the last time I saw a plunger in his hand, I, I don't even think I've ever seen a plunger in his hand. Mar- no, the only. No. There hasn't been a plunger in his hand. Where have you been? Where the fuck did you come you from? Go, go I don't know. Where you I, apparently, I, apparently, I magically appeared and disappeared. Uh, you were sleeping. No. <laughs> we we could hear you moving around. You freaking fell oh, asleep. Snap. Of course, you wait for us to talk about the Nintendo-related stuff to freaking I, wake honestly, up. Honestly, all I heard for half an hour was nothing. You lying. Well, and you weren't like, hey guys, I don't hear anything. He was asleep, oh, I can tell. <laughs> He's like half but, asleep right now. Oh my god. How big is this game? Which one? Marvel Infinite. Oh god, how big is it? Uh, is it? 55! Oh! Uh, for for mobile looking assets? Assets looking like they need to be on the mobile devices? Okay. Okay. Does right. that include all that all that locked DLC? Probably not, unless it's on the disc or whatever. I, I have to preload the game. 
Uh, new Pokemon and locations were revealed in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Does anybody care? I don't. They didn't show enough. Fuck. Fuck. No. Pokemon now. I, I want a new Pokemon game. Brand new on the Switch. If you pre order well, you're getting that next year. You gotta wait like a good boy. If, if you, I want it this year. If you pre order before January 12th. Shut up and play your video games. Or if you pre order before January 10th, you get 12 quick balls. And if you pre-order gold or silver from the uh, eShop, you get a Celebi in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Does anybody care about this? I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. If you pre-order before January 10th, you get 12 Quick Balls. And if you pre-order gold or silver, you'll get a Celebi in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. No, I, I, I don't care. I, I would probably buy gold or silver from the eShop. I might, even though I still have my gold cartridge. Like, I literally like still I, have it in my backpack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I weird. dropped off after Diamond and Pearl, and I just never got into it ever again. Yeah, it like, like, I tried Black and White. Yeah, Black and White the... sucked. Oh, my God. Like, the story was the only reason I kept playing the game. Even though I had I had the best story, but the Pokemon were trash. Absolute garbage. Yeah, like I saw it and I was like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play Pokemon anymore. No, I really <laughs> liked. Nice. I really liked Sun and Moon though, but I didn't want a second version of this game. I wanted a like new I game. liked. I liked the anime for Sun and Moon. I watched right. the first like twenty episodes. Yes. I thought it was good. I heard Misty and Brock came back. Yeah, they came back. I haven't. I've. I haven't been catching up. I'm like really behind with it, oh, yeah. but yeah, they're back. I I think for like just three episodes, one episode. Okay. And I remember it's... Twitter was going crazy because they saw Jesse Probably with her. Episode. They saw Jesse with her hair down, and like Twitter went nuts. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they were, were like, all like new waifu. Yeah, they were like new waifu. <laughs> Jesse with her hair. Down. I'm like, damn. Yeah. yeah. But uh, see, Kirby Battle Royale releases January 19th. Is anybody getting this? Me, I don't think so. Are you? Is that, the, uh, is, that the, is that the new Kirby game where you can play like online multiplayer or whatever? I believe. No, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But uh, let's see. Uh, a new up, Kirby. A new update for Yokai Watch 2 comes out September 29th. Does anybody play Yokai Watch? No. I've never had I, I, I liked the first one. I played the first one. I liked it. I liked. That it was level it was level five's attempt to be a new Pokemon game. Mm -hmm. Like I think really Nintendo probably wanted to just take a break, so then level five made it. Because yeah. I think that year they didn't have a Pokemon game. So like that's cool. Okay. But yeah. yeah. So if you if you already have the game, it's an update. But if you don't have the game, you can just buy it with with this update. I guess as a separate thing. Yeah. That's all I know. Uh, Layton's Mystery Journey, October 6th. I've, I haven't played a Professor Layton game yet. I know. Uh, uh, huh. They're cool. Uh, they're cool. They're puzzle games like uh, Phoenix Wright. Okay. I, I like it. Uh, they had a crossover game where they both meet. It was pretty cool. Oh, but yeah, I saw that. And I know a lot of people are excited. I was talking to Pinstripe about this, and he said there's too many of these games now. <laughs> Well, like, it has to fill in that need for puzzle games on the mobile devices, because that, like, the 3DS uh, has so many puzzle games that are really good, I and a lot of people love those stuff. Uh, uh, Memba, hmm. have you played any of the Professor Layton games? Hmm, unfortunately, no. Okay. Can uh, I have played Phoenix Wright? All right, so th this is something I was kind of interested in. So um, a new Mario Party game is being made, but it's not like it's not like the regular way it works. It's literally just a, a game where it's the 100 most popular mini games from every Mario Party combined into one game. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pr it's, it's just the pretty. best of for it. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I might have to pick that up. And there better be online multiplayer. If there's is it on the Switch or is it on the 3DS? I believe it's on the Switch. I thought it was on the 3DS. On the, can, uh, can one of you go look for me? Yeah, if, it's on the three, if it's on the 3DS, I kind of don't want it anymore. Just for the record, I didn't like Mario Party DS. 
I'm I, pretty sure it isn't for the 3DS. I actually hated Mario Party DS. Yeah, it says right here, Mario Party, the top 100 for Nintendo 3DS. Oh, oh. No, I don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> like, that like that's cool. That's cool for people who have 3DS, but that's not worth playing it. Because like, I'd rather play this if it was on the Switch. So that's very disappointing. Metroid Samus Returns uh, came out on the 15th, and from my Twitter feed, I really like what I see. The game's looking lit. Yeah, my buddy brought it into work yeah, one I'm day. Like, I'm trying let to let me play it. It was pretty dope. I'm trying to figure out, like, because I thought Memba would have bought this game day one. Which game? Uh, Metroid Samus Returns. No, but, dude, I don't have a 3DS to play it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this nigga broke it in half. Oh, right. This nigga uh, went off. I don't know. I, I don't know. I keep assuming that you got a new one. I'm sorry. This nigga got mad as hell and ripped this shit apart. No, it broke in my bag. Ma- magically. Yeah, I'm dude. going with that you turned into Broly. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm Mamba. going with that you're a piece of shit. Yo, Mamba, Mamba, <laughs> you I'm going with that you need to shut the fuck up, yeah, Mamba, bitch. Mamba, my boy, you got to get that 2DS XL. That, that, or that, 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 the new 2DS XL. I'll just get it. Yeah. Why did they even make a 3DS? How much is it? A 2DS? Yeah, how much it's is like, that? It's like, oh, it's like, I think 150 That's it? Yeah. That's, that's I'm why, sure. like, it's like the best one. You get, it has, uh, and they don't have the stupid 3D on there, and it's the yeah. best looking one. Yeah. I'm coming it's, out with a new Pokeball one. It yeah, it's why sick. did they even make? Isn't a new are there 2DS? Theme, are there themed 2D, 2DSs? Yeah, but oh, I you, think you have to buy them. Remember, you don't want a regular 2DS. No, I want a themed one. What the fuck? No, I well, mean no, like you, you don't want, want a. New yeah, you want a new 2DS. You don't want a 2DS because a 2DS is like it's like holding a piece of bread in your hand. No, no, I don't very, want. Very, very. Did, did they wait? Did they just announce the new 2DS? No, they, no, announce they announced it, it months packs. ago. They announced it months ago, and yeah, it's Etika's been out. Got one. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you like, should... hold on. I'm gonna post. This is a picture of it, man, but it's in the chat. The new 2DS XL. What the fuck was? Oh, the that's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah, there. I think they. They. When is the Pokemon version coming out? On Where November third. Okay. I'll just wait for it. Because I'm looking at it on GameStop. Real right, just, quick. just don't forget. Oh, you need to pre order that Actually, shit. You know, I don't want a one, but it's whatever. Actually, you know what? I got you, man, but hold on. Because my phone has. Actually, all your phones probably have this, but I just found out I could I could schedule when I text a person. Really? Yeah, I'm, so no, I'm going I'm to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go on Memba's thing right now. November 3rd at I'm gonna do it at 5 a.m. because that'll be eight members time Let's see All right done enter message by Pokemon new 2ds XL okay. and then he asks why are you texting me so early all right yeah so at at November 3rd or on November 3rd at 8 a.m. member, you will automatically receive a text. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Why do we even invent the 3DS if we were gonna go right back to 2D? Well, because they thought. Yeah, they thought it would, it would be, be a good cool, idea. But it's freaking annoying. The 3DS is greedy, is awful. It's Wasn't it like the beginning of this year that reports started to finally come out that kids were have started developing eye stigmatisms because. Of using the 3D for so long, I think. and it's only now just no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Ben Stripe no. doesn't believe you. He's in denial. <laughs> he loves the 3D. Ben Stripe's like, no, I'll fucking use 3D all the time. Oh man, I never use Every... that shit. I, I used it probably like, like once or twice for Ocarina of Time, but never. I, I'm glad I got my new 3DS for a hundred dollars. Because if I had bought it for the regular price, and that new 2DS XL came out, I would have been livid. I would have been fucking livid. And yeah, like happens. those those things are freaking overpriced. <laughs> God, but yeah, the new 2DS XL 
a lot more reasonable. It has the 3D or it has the two 3D gone. People don't freaking want it, and it's big. I still want to get it because I have a regular 2DS or not 2DS, 3DS or new 3DS, and it's I have big hands, so it's kind of uncomfortable. But, um, on to other news, but yeah, I remember you got to get Metroid. It's looking really good. Uh, the Alliance Alive, uh, I believe, is an Atlas game. Is was announced for early 2018. And Stripe, you're the uh, JRPG guy. Are you getting this or no? I'm getting it day one. It's for the Switch, right? Or is it for the 3DS? I don't remember, but I'm getting it. They're gonna fucking Switch. Whoa. All right, Shin Megami Tensei: Strange Journey. I I don't. I just have the game name down. I it doesn't it like come out in October or something. I don't remember, oh. but it's a remake of a DS game. Yeah, so that's coming out. Are you getting it? It's, this is just know. gonna be it, me interrogating Pinstripe for like the <laughs> next four topics. <laughs> All right, Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Fuck yeah. Etrian Odyssey Five. Or, or wait, there was a demo that came out for Etrian Odyssey Five. I don't remember if it's gonna be for the Switch or 3DS. I'm sorry, I, I didn't keep track what? because Etrian Odyssey Five. Probably 3DS. Like they were. It's been a it's been a mobile game. Yeah, they were pushing the news out like way too fast, so it was hard to keep up. But um, did you download the? Are you gonna download the demo now that you know it's a thing? No, I I was never a big fan of Etrian Odyssey. Okay. Apollo Justice Ace Attorney comes out. Oh wait, I think it already came out. Yeah, it came out yesterday apparently. Oh damn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> like how he just mute himself. <laughs> oh, okay, so you mute yourself on there, but you make us laugh. So when on the recording we're gonna be laughing. Rip. So for anyone listening for anyone listening to this, uh, uh Katie's currently yelling at someone off mic trying because they're trying to get his attention and he's trying to tell them that he's busy all right yeah that was, that was my that was my brother why did my notepad scroll back to the top because you were freaking out you were too busy trying to uh, figure it was, it was like he knocked on my doors so i wasn't gonna have him sit there knocking on it freaking all right so is anybody gonna get apollo justice ace attorney fuck now Probably not. Shut I've up, Jake. You haven't it. even played Phoenix, right? Isn't it? Isn't it? Is it a port or is it a remake? Of... I think it's a remake. Okay, then probably not because I played the that DS is... one. Okay, Do you yes, remember? Wow. Am I am I gonna get it? I mean, yeah. if I ever get a 2DS? No, uh, I was asking if you're gonna get a Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. What is that coming out on? It's not coming out on. Oh yeah, on the, the 3DS. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get it. you gotta get yeah. one first, right? Yeah. I'd be pin straight. Oh, probably not. What? You're gonna get Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Nah. Fire Emblem Warriors, October 20th. That's it's, on, it's on 3DS and Switch, right? Yeah. It's okay. on both? Yeah, that. it's on both. That's cool. Uh, I bet that frame. No, I'm not that interested because i only liked really awakening that frame that like frame rate was more. looking funny frame rate's gonna look funny on the 3d <laughs> got to turn that 3d on <laughs> turn the 3d on 10, get the best 10 fps rate. but we all know who's really excited for that and that's yeah, our friend yeah, uh, yeah, if it has fire emblem in its name he'll buy it yeah he's super excited for it uh I'm not, because I, I only really liked Awakening, and I never jumped into any of the other games. I might someday, but right now I haven't. Well, when are we going to get Mario Warriors? <laughs> or Don- oh, Donkey, Kong- Donkey Kong Warriors? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, I'm Mushroom Kingdom Warriors? Mushroom Kingdom Warriors? I don't know, yeah, man. Dude. I'm well, surprised. 
No, KD, that's the next Mario basketball game. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Just rip. All right, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, December 1st. Uh, I, I liked what I saw until I saw the combat. Yeah, the yeah. game looks interesting. Just the combat and the UI looks dumb. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Like, 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 the combat probably I'll get used to, but that UI looks like it's a mobile game, and I, I don't like the choice that they made with it. It's super like in your face and clutters the screen. I, I'm not a big fan of it. It's like, it looks so slow. I like, I like, I don't know if I want to play that. And that, you know, that, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I might like. At first, I was, I was like, I, I'm probably gonna have to get this game. But then, when I remembered that combat, I was like, I might have to skip it. Uh huh. But the special edition, if you get that, will have a CD, art book, and steel case. You know the, you know the typical stuff that you get for getting a special edition. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you play Xenoblade Pinstripe? Yeah. It's one of those series where it's like, I think the games are pretty good, but then I lose interest halfway through. Yeah, I know our friend Josh, he, so he, loves, he loves Xenoblade, but I'm pretty sure he's getting a special edition day one, and he's going to get the freaking controller. Oh yeah, $60 controller. 70 <laughs> 70 Oh my Yeah, $70 controller. <sighs> Even better. Yeah. Uh, alright, let's move on to some Splatoon stuff. Kelp Dome, Kelp Dome is coming back. We play Splatoon men, but how do you feel about Kelp Dome coming back? Where'd he go? Uh, uh, oh, 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 no, I said Kelp, Kelp Dome's coming back. Can I know? Uh, how do you, how do you feel about it coming back? Um... I think it's pretty cool. Um, no, I need that stage that where you jump off that that huge thing at the beginning. Mori Tower. Yeah. I want that yeah, stage back. You need to bring Mori Tower. I want that one back. What was that? Uh, what was that other? Um. Um. What was that called? Flounder Heights or whatever. I think. I want that stage. Too. Yeah, and then uh, we're getting a new stage called Snapper Canal. So, I can't all right. Wait. Are you interested in that stage? I haven't seen Snapper Kino. Okay, oh, it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, they're also introducing a, a new weapon called uh, tent, the Tent Umbrella. It's like an umbrella thing. I'm not sure exactly I what it does, it. but like it looks like you can use it as like a shield. And yeah. They showed that you like you you could surround yourself with your teammates with the umbrellas, and you guys wouldn't be able to get hit. That that's nuts. So I wonder how that's going to be utilized in combat. That looks pretty cool. Uh, back to Fire Emblem Warriors. They revealed Lin. Because, you know, if they didn't reveal Lin, uh, Intelligent Systems would have had a problem on their hands. But the, uh, I think the older Fire Emblem fans, because they love Lin. And, like, if Camilla had made it to the game and Lin hadn't, especially after Camilla beat her in the gauntlet, like, that wasn't going to go over well. Does, do you care about Lynn Pinstripe? Yeah, she's Bay. Alright. So, you heard it from him. Uh, Chrom and Tiki amiibos are coming. I don't know what they do. Do they add Chrom and Tiki? If so, that's kind of um, dumb. And they should already be in the game. I don't think that's what they do, but I, I don't know what any of the amiibo do. Okay. There's too many. Oh real. All right. Everyone's beloved Nintendo franchise Snipper Clips is getting a new version Clip called Sni Snipper Clips Plus. Maddie likes <laughs> this game. I don't know why. Um, I don't know what this game is. But yeah, it's coming November 10th, and owners that have the original game will get it as DLC. Eh. <laughs> yeah, nobody gives a fuck about snipper clips. Like, like okay, I'll, 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 well, I'll say KD, two, what? two cents. To, to be perfectly honest with you, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a Switch game. 
<laughs> Yo, you didn't see King Bombbeard's Let's Play? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Even I saw it. Like, like, I, like I'll, I'll say my two words. I like Snipper Clips. It's one of the most inappropriate, appropriate kid games I've ever played. Where uh, the whole point of it, since Pinstripe's never heard of it, is you're, you're supposed to be playing with a friend. Uh, you can't play it solo, but you're supposed to be playing with a friend. And when you overlap each other, you can cut each other, like part of you off to catch or do certain challenges that need you to be doing certain things. And it's it's it creates interesting situations where you're gonna be talking to someone, and be like, "Get inside me and cut, cut." Like, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, that yeah, move around crazy. like. And That's it's tough. it's it's fun. I like playing it. Uh, it just it just created a very awkward tension of uh. Okay. Come on, Penstrap. <laughs> I thought you saw that on King Bombbeard's channel, man. Even I saw that. <laughs> and I don't even talk to the dude. <laughs> my God. Anyway, it's okay because Penstrap doesn't watch my videos until pretty late either, but. Let's see, uh, a nude shooter called Morpheus. A nude? No, I said nude, nude shooter? No, nude shooter. <laughs> oh, I heard, I heard nude too. I was like, oh shit, is this like, is this like Senran Kagura or some shit? Yo, I, I'm mad because after I spent all that money at PAX, I can't get Peach Beach Splash. <laughs> oh no. Especially since uh, I had to buy a new mic. Freaking. Ugh, oh, I sucks. wanted to cover that game too. I'm so mad. But we get a uh, Morphe's Law is what the, this new shooter is called. It's announced. It was announced for the Switch. I guess the goal of it is there's like a red character and like a blue one, and you have to you have to get yours bigger than the other one. But I guess I don't know like shooting at the enemy. But I know like if you shoot, I don't know if you like shoot each other or you shoot the enemy. But like when you get shot, like I think the size of your limbs like decrease or like increase like, i'm not are you talking about the, the dumb looking shooter game yeah morphe's law yeah yeah oh yeah yeah the one where they looked like test dummies and you, you yeah shoot like or, like depend depending on what part of the body you shoot yeah. like it'll shrink yeah your, your opponent's body body part will shrink while yours uh while yours uh grows and the winner is whoever gets tall or short right I don't, or, know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I know what you guys are talking Does about. Does anybody it care about this game? I mean, it's interesting. It's original, yeah. that's for sure. Because it's... I've never seen anything well, quite looks, like it. It's so stupid, though. <laughs> did, you see, yeah. did you see, like... All, they sold, like, um clips of, like... Uh, the shooters with, like, super big legs. And, like, their pants yeah. are super small. <laughs> yeah. <so far. laughs> <laughs> that's, right, funny. that's funny right oh it's coming in the winter well, is, is uh -huh. anybody is anybody buying this i don't know <laughs> you know my answer is i don't have a switch so i don't yeah. yeah i don't have a switch i need i need to get it i need to get a switch especially I'm getting that, that mario odyssey switch. does, does anyone know when that one game coming out for switch pocket rumble does anyone know when that's coming up no they didn't talk about it unless it was in the indie games thing i don't know but um, be on the lookout remember it's coming out in 2028 uh, nintendo nintendo battle what, your cars tape nintendo battle cars are coming to rocket league uh you'll be able to get like a mario uh, Luigi and Samus themed car. The Samus themed car is obviously the coolest looking one and is probably like the, the coolest looking car in all of Rocket League in my opinion. But you don't get them right off the bat. You have to unlock them. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to get Rocket League on the Switch. That would be nice to play on the go. Uh, does anybody care about these battle cars besides me? Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's gonna have local multiplayer. So you can you can play with other people that have the game on the Switch that are near you. Yeah, I I I played Rocket League when it first came out with you guys and yeah. it just never hit connected with me that much. I remember I, when I, Pinstripe I would appeal. I remember when Pinstripe would only stream that game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That and was then hard. I saw other people stream, and I'm like, wow, I suck. <laughs> Is that what discouraged you from streaming it? Well, because I see all these people making all these, like, jump hover shots, and I'm just sitting there like, how do you even... What? Like... It's like I had no idea you could even do that. It's like so baseball. Like, wow. You gotta practice, I, fam. You gotta practice. But then I did try and practice, and I like could never do it. You're so easily discouraged, Pinstripe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes when Memba's playing a fighting game, he's kind of that way too. But because these yeah. games are fucking broke. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh my god, but uh. Yeah, let's see. Yo, let, me, let me justify my discouragement. Okay, I don't know why Nintendo decided to do this one, but they're bringing a MOBA to the Switch called Arena of Valor. Who's gonna play a MOBA on the Switch? Mo, How would that even work? You mean Battleborn? <laughs> Speaking oh, speaking of, of Battle Battleborn, Born, yeah, that I, yeah, I forgot. Exist. Yeah, it's getting shut down. It's finally done. Oh. It's, they're killing oh, it up. Yeah, I forgot to put that in the in the news. Oh. Oh, okay, it was nice knowing. Speaking of uh, Cliffy B, also says he's trying to he's trying his hardest to stop lawbreakers from dying. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't it's play all the game's already like dead yeah because yeah because the thing is it they picked a terrible time to release it. There's so many other games out that people care about more than Lawbreakers, and it, it I guess it didn't really do enough to to make itself stand out. I enjoy yeah. the game a lot, and it, it sucks for me to see that the game is like dead on launch. I think when the game first came out, there were only like two or three thousand people on the game on PC. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, so yeah, both of those games. Battleborn, they are, you know, they pulled the plug on it, and Lawbreakers is probably gonna follow suit soon. But, um, yeah. And yeah, hopefully they can figure out what makes, what, uh, uh, something that they can do to bring back people. Yeah. Back, back to Arena Valor, uh, it, the, a beta is coming out in the winter. Does anybody care about this game? What no, game? What game? <laughs> Arena of Valor. <laughs> it's a MOBA. Oh, the mo? No, yeah. no. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Play. I don't. I like. I don't. I already don't like MOBAs that much. I'm not trying to play no MOBA on the Switch. Skyrim is coming November 17th. And I don't know yeah. if. I don't know if I misheard, but I think one of the guys said you could find Link's gear in the world through a normal means. Yeah, oh, but can. too bad there was already a mod for that. <laughs> you right. I mean, like, it's cool to coming out on the Switch, because then that means... The yeah, I can play Skyrim can on play the go. It. Yeah, that too. You can play Skyrim on the and go, and then the Nintendo fanboys can finally play Skyrim like everyone else on every system they've ever been able to play yeah. Skyrim on and, like in 60 FPS like that's all I could ask for from that freaking thing I can play Skyrim on the go and can't it comes with every DLC yeah Let's see uh Doom and Wolfenstein 2 are coming to the Switch and I think this is this is really important because I feel like this is gonna be this is gonna be the statement maker when these games come out. If they sell, then I think we'll get we'll get a lot more third party support. But if not, I think devs will start to pull the plug. Yeah, this is probably like this and Skyrim are probably gonna be the make it or break it games. Yeah, for third party. Uh, Skyrim probably not so much because game's been on yeah, everything. Yeah, been out since like Doom, 2011. Doom is probably the best FPS game that's come out since I don't know since a long time, and it's gonna be cool to see if Doom can run at 60 frames on the Switch and look moderately like it did on PlayStation 4. You know, like if it can do that, I'm pretty sure it'll it'll do good and then along with wolfenstein 2 but wolfenstein 2 and doom don't come out until next year so all right 
Or is it Doom this year and then Wolfenstein next year? I think Doom is this year. Uh -huh. I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can't they went through it so coming quick. out later than all the other versions. Yeah, like a month later, yeah. right? No, no, they said uh, Wolfenstein 2 is coming out next year. It's, it just said 2018 oh, on it. Don't the third-party games on the Switch cost like $10 more? Uh, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Because they're on cartridges, that's annoying. That's annoying? Yeah. It's okay, I can uh, take it on the go. It still sucks though. Well, you already know I'm gonna be looking for that discount. It's like an on the go tax, <laughs> is the $10. So, the Mario Bros. arcade archives are coming to the Switch. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that's that's really cool because it preserves the arcade games because there's yeah. no other way to legally play these games yeah. without using emulation and stuff. They bringing super. Not Super Punch Out, but the Punch Out arcade game, yeah. the uh, Mario versus game, and then I can't. Oh yeah, Ice Climbers yeah. versus some other game, I think. Yeah, I don't Not remember. Sure. Good stuff but on those... Nintendo Zen though. But yeah, that's re that's really good because these games were lost to time basically, but now they're back, so that's really cool. Look, Champion Amiibos for Breath of the Wild are coming out November 10th, and like. I think they'll give you gear, but I think depending on which amiibo you use in that instance, you'll get like an exclusive helmet. <laughs> As Memba's yeah, wallet digs an even even deeper hole. <laughs> oh, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting that amiibo. So. No, KD. Uh -huh. At this point, Memba's wallet doesn't even exist. Oh, he said he's not getting the amiibos. <laughs> yeah, right. So, what? How when many amiibos does Memba own? Amiibo? When have I ever bought an amiibo, Pinstripe? You probably have more than me. I think I, they, have zero. I, I think I think Pinstripe's the only one here that actually owns amiibos. Like even Eevee Maddie. doesn't have amiibo. Oh yeah, of course. But yeah, Eevee. Just because of Zelda doesn't mean I'm gonna buy an amiibo. I thought the Eevee fuck? would get all the fun. What if I? What if I buy the amiibo for you? And that's not me buying it. That's you buying it for me and giving it to me. You wouldn't that's buy different. him an amiibo anyway. Exactly. You're right. The only amiibo I even want is the Wolf Link amiibo for Twilight Princess, so I can play. Oh, have I've got Zelda. that one. Of course. You, you don't even play. You don't even play Zelda. Give me that. No, I need it. Pinstripe literally. For what? <laughs> Pinstripe literally just throws money away. Just to have what do you need his it for? Other games sit there the while dungeon. he plays MLB. You're not playing. You're not even playing Zelda. Give me the game uh, well, too. Well, not right now. Dude, you're, you're, he's not gonna play it for like another two years. I would've beat, I would've beat in that game like 10 times. And then he's three. gonna be like, all right, I'm going to play it right now for like a day or two, and then he's gonna go back to MLB. Yo, give me the game so I can have Wolf Link in, in Breath of the Wild. And the Amiibo. All right, man. It's all good. WWE 2K18 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I really want tacos. <laughs> Do you care? Uh, I I care, but you I, mean, I know you, you traded know. your Switch in. I traded in, and I'm gonna play it on PlayStation 4 like I always do anyway. Now I can decimate Roman Reigns on the go. <laughs> I'm, <kidding. laughs> I'm gonna play it on PC. <laughs> I'm gonna play it on PS4 and PC God, mainly, dude. but yeah, it'd be cool if this. Like I would, I would switch to the Switch. Uh, if there were just more games on it, of course, and there are more games coming out on it. I would if they add if they game. add Bowser as like a Switch exclusive character. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no way we're gonna have Nintendo exclusive stuff, and if there is, it's gonna be like the tattoos or like this the Mario like, tattoo on your custom yeah. character. Yeah, like something stupid like that. But I I highly doubt there's gonna be like an exclusive. Oh, look at this! It's Mario. <laughs> Play nothing, Mario in 2K. Nothing like Shrek on a check. Pokémon Tournament DX is coming out November 22nd. I don't care. I've played enough Pokémon on the Wii U. I thought the game was a bit too slow for my taste. And for the Wii U version, you couldn't you couldn't play online with people outside of the United States after an update, and they never bothered to fix it. So, is anyone getting this? 
Does anyone want to get poking? No. Nah. Okay. All right. Oh, this is what I want to talk about the most right here. Project Octopath Traveler. That game. Oh! Yeah, it looks really good. This it's from looks... the people who made uh, Bravely Default. Yeah, the demo's available right now, and it makes me even angrier that I don't have a Switch because I can't play a demo. It's coming out in 2018. I'm like, God, that game looks great. You know, Square Enix has yeah. done it again after making the beauty that is Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13, you know, classics. He will never forget. <laughs> We got Project yeah, I mean, Traveler. I mean, yeah, it's, it looks really cool. It's from the people who made Bravely Default. And Bravely Default is basically what Final Fantasy XV probably should have been. Uh, went back to its roots, you know. And of course, they couldn't straight up do that. So they just made Bravely Default. And it was a huge hit with the old school Final Fantasy fans. So I hope uh, they made... I, I feel like... Uh, that was more like the NES games, maybe, mm-hmm. and this is more like the 16-bit uh, stuff. So I guess. it's gonna be cool to see. All right, you how can, this works. You can now map your controls and arms. Oh. Does this make you happy, Mambu? I didn't hear. It, I'm sorry. You can map your controls and arms now. That's cool, yeah. Like, I thought why this was, was a why feature was that, like yeah why, at why was that not a fe- yeah why was that not a feature at launch I don't know maybe they just didn't think arms would get so competitive I, I don't know but did you hear arms is gonna be at a uh, Evo Japan but people are upset because Smash 4 and arms won't have a prize pot at Evo Japan I think in Japan Nintendo doesn't like uh, their games being played for money. Or, I don't know, it may just be outright not allowed in Japan. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, that's cool. You can map your control. All right, uh, Kirby Star Allies will have co-op. Is anyone getting this game? No. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the online multiplayer, I think. I think I think that has online multiplayer. I swear that's what oh. it said when they were doing the direct. I, uh, all I remember is there was two Kirby games, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the other one we were talking about was the one that the All Star Arena or whatever it is. I think that was the one that has it, and then I think Star Allies is gonna have local co-op, and I guess you'll be able to like combine your abilities and stuff. So, does anybody care? Ben Stripe, are you gonna get Kirby Star Allies? If it's online Probably. multiplayer, if it's online multiplayer, I'll care. It's spring more. 2018. Uh, like I'm probably not. It's probably gonna be an afterthought for me because like every it's, time they announce a new Kirby game, it just looks like the same thing. No. Exactly. Like I, I never played Return to Dreamland because I wasn't inter- uh, interested in it. But that looks like Return to Dreamland, and I don't care. <laughs> It's coming out spring 2018. I, I just don't like how they're giving Kirby that tree where they're just like milk. I feel like they're milking Kirby more than Mario. Like, you see all that Kirby shit that they're doing? Yeah. Kirby, that Mario games don't come out as often as Kirby games. Like, Kirby's getting milked the most. And people don't really care about it just because it's Kirby. Like. Let's see. Uh, Lost Sphere is coming to the Switch on January 28th. I think that's another Atlas game. Probably wrong. Uh, Pinstripe, are you getting this? What? I zoned out. Lost Sphere. On the Switch. What is that? I think it's an Atlas, another Atlas game. Well, while he's while he's figuring that out, uh, Sonic Forces. Oh, it's, it's Square, bro. Oh, I don't care anymore. I'm kidding. And it's on, and it's on PC and PS4, so it's not just gonna be a Switch game. Okay, well, I'm getting it on PC. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting that better. game. It looks awesome. You said you're not getting that game? I I am. Oh, I, oh, I thought I heard you say you're not getting that game. I was about to be like, what? It I'm looks not, awesome. Get your you're not check. getting it. Uh, Sonic Force is coming to the Switch November 7th. Is anyone going to get this DeviantArt Sonic game? Uh... 
maybe. I don't know. Nope. We'll uh, I don't know. <laughs> that means it looks like, like no, it, not it, really. it looks like it just looks like another modern Sonic game with you know a twist, okay. but that's like it. Resident Evil Revelations One and Two are coming to Switch. I don't care. Yeah, I don't really because I've I played them. I've already them played both PS4. of them, and they they were Revelations was pretty good. I, you know, two was all right, but like. Yeah, like they it's were. Not, good. It's not going to be a, the best way to play the game. Is the, my main problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, and Nintendo, the Switch, I don't see that as like a horror game console. Granted, those games aren't that scary. You want to play your Switch on the in public playing a horror? You know, game. it's not like I'm going to be taking my Switch everywhere playing Slender. You know, I'm sure it wants to play Five Nights at Freddy's like, like, at work. Whenever it comes to horror and Nintendo, the only game that comes to mind is um, Fatal Frame. Yeah, Fatal Frame, really. Sure wants and to that's play. just because of the Wii U one. Yeah, because Fatal Frame just stopped going to PlayStation, and then they went to Nintendo. Well, no, honestly, when I think of horror and I think of Nintendo, I think of either Eternal Darkness on the GameCube, because it was on the GameCube, yeah, or Luigi's Mansion. Oh, yeah, or, or Mario 64 with that fucking piano. Don't even get me started, boy. That scared that you? Hey, as a I'm, ta- kid, I'm talking to Pinstripe. No, comes I you. never played it as a kid. <laughs> Had I don't know I wasn't scared of that thing like I with that type of level I was like I knew there had to be something up with that piano. See, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it came at me, it scared the hell out of me. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my god! We can, uh, but I remember one thing that freaked me out in that game was when you're in that what's that world called where like one part of it is tiny and the other part is huge. Tiny huge island. I remember that that big ass. Remember that big ass fish in the water that instantly kills oh, yeah. you. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I remember it when I first saw a wiggler. It kind of bothered me too. I was like, what the fuck is that thing? I had never seen it before. But uh, <laughs> L.A. Noir. Is coming to the Switch on November 14th. Is anybody gonna go play it again on the Switch? No. I never played the game. I feel before. like I I feel like this is just Rockstar's yeah, test demo. This isn't a, if, this isn't a type of game I want to play on the go. To be honest, like this is just yeah. yeah I want to play the demo game, to yeah. see if Rockstar should even bother with it. To yeah. be honest, they need to put GTA 5 on. The thing. Yeah, Yo, man. People would love to play GTA 5 on the go. Let me see. Oh, you can now put your phone in sleep mode without it disabling voice chat. Oh, yeah. Wait, what Still happened? Such a... So, like, you remember the voice chat system for the Switch that you needed yeah. your phone to do yeah. voice chat? Oh, uh, the app would close whenever it went to sleep. They just updated it so it doesn't do that. Oh, speaking of that, oh my god, did you guys hear, uh, so the Switch itself, it has built-in local voice chat, but you and the other person have to be on the same network in order for it to work. What? What? How does, how, how does that make any sense? What's the point? Yeah, it's like, it's literally like, VJ's across the room from me, like, why would I want to do voice chat with him on the Switch when he's, like, across the room? That doesn't make sense. Because Nintendo's retarded, I don't know. God, dude, like... Jake, quit going in and out, boy! I've been speaking for, like, 20 minutes! No, you haven't! You haven't! Oh my god. Jake, get the fuck All out. Alright, do we gotta put this guy on charges, too? No, he, he's... Again? He's, he's, already, he's already had enough. He has a third charge, by the way. Oh, oh no. And it's not this? No, it's something PC-related. Oh, no. Oh! I don't even know what that is. Alright, but, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know... Whoever's idea this was, they need to be fired. They're extremely out of touch. <laughs> Why are we using a goddamn app for voice chat? Are you getting... oh. Jesus Christ, Nintendo. Should have been built in right. Right. Jeez. Alright. All right, on the Mario Odyssey 
news. There were two new worlds revealed that look pretty cool. Um, if if you get all the power moons, you get a special surprise. There will be mini games that have leaderboards. There will be a bird that helps you find power moons. There's a shop that lets you buy new gear for Mario. I'm waiting for that one Nintendo game where they put like... They they make the they make those mystery blocks a microtransaction and you pay for those and Mario hits the block and you get new stuff for Mario. I'm, I'm waiting. There I feel like they're gonna Probably do not. that. But let's see. Uh, and you can freeze time in the game to take pictures. And wedding amiibos will be released on the same day as the game. And other amiibos will be supported. And a bundle that comes with a special theme case and joy concept uh, will be coming out I forgot on what day though unfortunately but after watching uh, the the new footage from Mario Odyssey like I don't know I I'm a lot more excited about the game than I was before I'm still more excited for Project Octopath Traveler but for me personally, I think this is going to be way better than the other main Mario platformer games that have come out on, you know, the other systems. But, you know, I won't know until the game comes out because I didn't get a chance to play it like Maddie did. But, um, did the, uh, did the Direct make any of you guys more excited for Mario Odyssey? No. I mean, it looks like... Really I am really game. disappointed they got rid of his tattoo. What? What tattoo? What, hey, yo, what the hell are you I'm, talking? I'm just, I'm, about? I'm just, I'm happy that to be finding no. Mario people nipples. On, people on Twitter are making I, fun of the fact that Mario doesn't have a tattoo that he was supposed to have back in like 2004 to um advertise a special edition. Game Boy SP. Uh, oh, yeah, the tribal tattoo. But yeah. I, I know people flipped out because they finally got to see his nipples. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I remember the tribal tattoo now. <laughs> yeah, it's like people were going crazy over that. But yeah, like, I was just making fun of it. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm a lot more excited for the game, especially since, uh, especially since they have that... Uh, I like what they did with the music in the game, too. Oh, yeah. Is it bad? I didn't know they had the tribal tattoo until Twitter. Because no, I didn't either. I didn't because one of my friends had it. I thought it looked really dumb. Yeah, this is for me is definite pick. I, for me, like right now, the definite pickups for the Switch are Mario Odyssey, yeah, because... uh, Project Octopath Traveler, Octodad. <laughs> my God. And I'll, I'll probably I'll probably end up getting Breath of the Wild again, just so I can I can play it on the go. Oh yeah, and, and Splatoon 2, of course. I was about to say you forget. And in arms, I'm I don't want to buy Mario Kart 8 again, to be honest. No, I'm not, I don't care. Even though I can play it on the go, that's that's a plus. But I know you want to get Poke and DS. No. Anyways, uh, Mario Odyssey. Its file size will be extremely small. What? Really? Yeah. Like how small are we talking about? I don't know. All I know is it's gonna be really small. I didn't get I didn't get a chance to watch the video before we recorded. But I'm pretty sure it's, it'll probably be like probably a couple gigs. Two, That's three. It? Yeah, probably because Nintendo actually figured out how their hardware freaking worked while these other devs, you know, they're prioritizing graphics and stuff. They're like yeah, let's just dump this 20 gig file on the Switch. Nobody will care. Like I said, we're for some third party games, it's going to be mandatory that we have micro SD cards. So that's going to suck. Yeah, like Doom uh, multiplayer isn't going to be on the cartridge. You have to download the multiplayer if you want to play multiplayer on Doom. So exciting. Skyrim is gonna. How big is that game gonna be on the Switch? Is it the uh, is it the special remastered edition or whatever? Is it or is it just regular Skyrim? It's just it's just 
Skyrim. It doesn't say it's a special edition, so I'm guessing it's not gonna have like the whole graphical updates and everything. But okay. uh, 60 FPS. It's though, probably that's gonna, crazy. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be 2011 Skyrim with slight, um, with some modifications here and there to the graphics, most likely. But okay, it better be yeah. like six gigs. <laughs> oh my God. No, well, it'll probably be like 20. Yeah, probably is. But, but uh, yeah, that's all the topics we have. But um, like I said, there's one more charge we got to bring Jake up on. Uh, he he got this charge for himself last night. So, oh, actually, no, it's two charges. First of all, <laughs> you remember nice. when he first was talking about how he wanted to build a PC and we told him to just get a couple parts at a time. And then he was mm-hmm. like, no, I want to build it all at once. Yeah. But yesterday he asked me if he should get a couple parts at a time. What's the charge here? We told him to do this the first time uh, and he did not listen. Oh, and then now he's asking you if he should do that? Yes. Even though you told him. Okay. And the second charge is he wants to put a Ryzen 1800X in his PC, which has eight cores and 16 threads. When the only thing he does is put his video in Premiere and render it. <laughs> he doesn't okay. use his, he never plays PC games. I never well, hear I Jake talk about playing PC games. How well, I like, can't well, he, he, well, the thing is, he, like, he can't on his Mac, but the problem with the, the problem with this is that he doesn't need all of those cores because all he does is throw videos in Premiere and render them. That's false, but okay. it, would, it would be more understandable if he wanted a six core processor with 12 threads. But no, he wants an eight core with 16 threads, which is for people who do a lot more than what Jake does. That's like something. Again, false. Actually, that, that's like something I would probably need. Actually, 16 threads probably wouldn't be enough. I'm probably going to have to get a 1950X in my next build. But. Yeah, like he he's getting an eighteen hundred X when he doesn't need all that. So he's be, he's being brought up on charges for that because he's an idiot. And his only excuse is, I could go get Threadripper because he's he's so eager to throw his money away. I know it's his money, but like, God, there's no excuse for being a fucking idiot, Jay. Uh, all he needs is, is a six core with twelve threads, and he'll be fine. Nope. He just. He, but you know why he's doing this, right? The real reason why he's doing this. He no. want, he, he just wants to have a stronger PC than Pinstripe. That's all it is. It's <laughs> not true. It is. Yeah, it is. You and Pinstripe. Sam. You guys are. The best. The Canadian Canadian boy is not gonna get a PC. This nigga be buying way He'll too much. He'll probably get one before you. Yeah, dude, I- I- Ishmael got a PC before you did. That's another charge. <laughs> Oh my. He wasn't. He had like. He showed no interest in PC gaming at all. Oh snap! And he got a fucking PC before you did. He got it. He got it earlier this week. Like. Like. And you done fucked up, Jay. You're talking about you were getting all this money. Talking about I make two racks a month. Should have had a PC before everybody. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Right. Rip. Is he guilty? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, guilty, Jake. I guess he can't catch a break. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Jake is guilty. Um, is there anything anyone wanted to say before we, we close this out? Oh, I, I have something to say. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll be discussing packs in a separate video. So, uh, yeah, if, I yeah, wasn't there. Yeah, so if people were wondering about that, yeah, we'll discuss that in a separate video. And, uh, yeah. I think that's, oh, yeah. Um, look forward to more individual content on the channel where, where some of us are going to be assigned to cover specific games that we want to cover. So, like, every time new news comes out regarding the game, we'll try to get it out to you as fast as possible. Keeler's doing Destiny 2 right now. Memba's doing Dragon Ball Fighters. Jake wants to do Sonic Forces, but I don't think any new news is going to be coming out. And I don't really know what I'm going to
gonna do yet. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Katie, you're probably gonna do the fucking Blaze Blue Cross game or whatever. No, because I'm not interested enough in the roster right now. Oh, the members definitely doing that game, dude. What are you talking about? You're Over. definitely gonna cover the Blaze Blue Cross tag battle game too. Probably gonna cover everything. Well, like like I said, like I said, if if you guys are gonna take on the responsibility of covering these games, like I need you to get the news, like the new news out, like uh, as quick as you can. We can't like wait too long, or else like the video just becomes like irrelevant. And yeah. when when the game actually comes out, like this is why I say, when the game actually comes out, you have. I need you to make sure if you're covering the game, this is a game that you're interested enough to enough to buy so that you can make content for the channel when the game comes out. And like if if that's not something you were looking to do with the with the game, then I'd rather someone else that actually wants to get the game cover it. But yeah, that, yeah. That, that's it really. But um yeah, that's all I had to say to Anyone else want to say anything? Uh, no, yeah. Pinstripe's uh, probably I, just in a rush to play MLB. I I realized halfway through this, as I was just, uh, whenever I didn't talk about on a topic because I just didn't have anything to say, I was looking at Steam and I remembered <laughs> one of the games I've been playing. Uh, also, it was Divinity, Divinity Original Sin Two, which is actually about really. That. It's a really fun game if you're into like Dungeons and Dragons and that type of role play. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, I highly recommend it because I've been, I already lost like six hours into it right now. Uh, I'm gonna put like more into it, but I'm at the very beginning of the game still, which is really good. All right. Yeah, that's really all I need to say because that game's really fun. And there's like a GM, a game master mode for the people who actually play Dungeons and Dragons so if you don't like the original story you can make your own campaign with like four of your friends it's pretty fun alright pinstripe anything what do you have any no I'm pretty sure you don't you just want to get back to MLB or whatever it is you're doing do you, do you have <laughs> any, do you have any last thing any last words before we end this thing uh um I need some chicken tacos. Uh, Jake sucks. He's a fraud. Oh yeah, that too. Um, I'm about to play this Mario vs. Capcom Infinite once it drops. Um, how much oh, did yeah, you get it off G2A yeah. for? I couldn't buy it off G2A because it didn't have an NA version for some reason. Did you I check? I can't wait to get the Marvel Limited Edition for Easter. Uh, have you checked? Uh, Green Man Gaming or a CD or King Win or CDKeys.com. Member. Huh? Have you checked uh, Green Man Gaming or King Win or CDKeys.com? Uh, I haven't. Well, I think I checked. I think I checked CD Keys, but I haven't checked those other ones. Yeah, King Win and Green Man are pretty nice. You mm. Check those out. Oh, it's all right. I already, uh, already pre-ordered the game. Oh, okay. It's, whenever it's you're, whenever you're not on it, I'm probably gonna play it too. Oh, I'm preloading the game. Right? Fifty-five fucking gigs for I what? I don't do that. That's garbage. A game that looks like a freaking mobile game. Come on, no. And, and the stupid DLC character. Why is Ultron a fucking DLC character? Because they may, they want to make you pay for it. That's exactly uh, uh, why. Apparently, Marvel's working on getting the rights to the X Men and the Fantastic Four back. Oh man, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> that DLC. Sixty dollars per character. Oh yeah, apparently the DLC characters got leaked. Really? Yeah, apparently it's like it's like Monster Hunter, freaking. Up. Let me let me look this up again. That's sixty dollars each. Monster Hunter should have been a launch character. Yeah. What the fuck? Like Capcom? But now you gotta pay sixty dollars for it. Well, not for the character. 
Oh, I thought you said it was for the char each character 60 bucks. No. That's why I was like, holy fucking shit. No, the costumes are 60. Oh, wait, it's the game that comes that's, with the costume. That's just yeah. as bad. No, it's not. Uh, the skin, when it, on Steam, it says 60 bucks, but if you click the individual skin that says 60 bucks, uh, on the store page for it, it'll say that you have to buy it with the game. It You can't buy it by itself. And that's why it's 60 bucks. It's because it comes with the game and the other skin. Oh, okay. Okay, so the, the DLC characters that got leaked are Black Panther, Black Widow, Monster Hunter. You already know. Is it is it Sig? Oh, yeah, Sigma's a DLC character, not Ultron. Uh, Venom and Winter Soldier. All characters that should be in the game at yeah, once. Yeah, but, like, come but, on. You know. Like there's like the only one that's new is Monster oh, Hunter. Is that bad? What? Who? Oh snap! Oh, Winter Soldier. No, I'm saying he should have been a launch character, not DLC. What the heck? He should have been DLC because the the default roster is whack. Monster Hunter doesn't belong in the. That's like adding a Dark Souls. But at least it makes people more excited to buy the game. That's... <laughs> it's, it's Monster Hunter, there are two options. Yeah. Uh, my, my brother is saying that uh, these characters should be DLC. Which, which character? <laughs> oh. uh, like, or he said Monster Hunter shouldn't be in the game. And Winter Soldier should be DLC. Okay. Good, but... I, I'm I'm just saying they should be main roster characters because the main roster right now sucks. Like, how are you gonna have half of the antagonists as, as DLC? You have Ultron, Sigma, the main boss, Sigma, Sigma's DLC. What kind of stupid garbage is that? Like, who who's on the? We got freaking Arthur. Nobody wants Arthur. Well, whole no, looks don't exactly the same. Most people about Firebrand. Why? Why would I care about Chris Redfield? I want. Why do we have Chris? Why? Why don't we have? Why don't we have Leon? Why do we always have Chris? Why is Nemesis still in the game? Like, get why isn't Jill in the game? What? Where's my boy Wesker at? DLC. Where's Claire? Doesn't make any sense. Any sense. And X-Men and Fantastic Four aren't even there. You Doctor love it. Doom and Magneto, a main staple of the competitive of Marvel, isn't there? X or er, like Wolverine is like the face for the Marvel side. And he's yeah, not even like, in the game. Doesn't make any sense. I'm, uh, I'm supposed to be excited though. Uh, apparently. Uh, anyways, Jake, what are your what are your final statements? Are you finally gonna admit that you can't edit to save your life? Oh no, I can edit. I've been editing. Yo. By the way, have you have you been uploading the files to the drive? Yeah. All right. Well, freaking. Yeah, there's a compilation of Jake's best Sonic Generations moments coming this week. I already know what the number one is going to be. It's not, even, like, it's not going to be a top ten. It's just going to be a compilation in order from your beginning of your Let's Play to the end. But freaking... Yeah, anyways, that's that's it. You have nothing to say, Jake? Man, y'all lying ass niggas. You know that you guys are all lying. No, we're not. You don't have it. Every single one of you are fake as fuck. Shut up, Chief. Y'all should up or up. Like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Jake's a fraud. Anyways, this concludes the podcast. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get food. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Later.